138 in progress. We have a problem. And um, my carpet was like dark brown. She's the coolest old lady. I'd fuck her. I just don't care. Hey, can you give me a ride to jail or something? Now let's get started. Oh, boom. Hello, the Dental Problems Podcast. Hey there, how's everybody doing out there in podcast land? I'm so bizarrely energetic, can't you tell? Are you really bizarrely energetic? No, it's just the caffeine with no food. Oh, really? Yeah. You yes. too? Yes. I haven't I'm not Bono. You too? What? He's all fucked up right now. Good. Kurt, Kurt, did you hear about Bono being all fucked up right now? The singer from YouTube? Yeah. Like Bruce Springsteen filled in for him the other day. He yes. totally ruined it too. It sounded like he was oh constipated. The streets have no party. It's like you don't have to put that much into it. It's a fucking U2 song. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Bono doesn't even put that much into it. He doesn't. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, he hurt himself on a bike. Apparently bike. he's like really fucked up. Like That's like what he gets for being bike curious. <laughs> <laughs> Get that first terrible joke out of the way. <laughs> Thank you. Not bad. Uh, Potential Problems Podcast. Today is the Saturday podcast. What episode are we at, Alan? 81. 81? 81. Holy shit, 19 more till that magic 100, huh? Yeah, and it's been about 30 without Kurt. What yeah, it has been there? 30, yeah. Kurt was uh, into football. Yeah, and like and touring and, and touring. Doing and important stuff. things and forgetting where he came from. <laughs> I know exactly where I came from. I saw my mom last night. <laughs> <laughs> Um, did you, yeah, you did a, in fact, you were busy with shows this week. You did, what did you do Thursday? Uh, Thursday I did the stage, Friday. Last How did the stage go? Good? It was great. Good yeah. room? Uh-huh. It was a lot of fun. I've, I don't think I've heard one bad thing about any of those shows. Like they yeah. always are, uh, everybody who talks about them says they're really awesome. Uh-huh. Uh, and then everybody who, uh, performs are like AJ and, couple of the other people that have done that venue, uh, they always uh, rave about how good the headliners are. Like, oh, yeah, they have some great headliners. Who'd you uh, work with this time? I worked with Jim Holder. Is uh, I know that name from somewhere. Yeah, he, he used to come to laughs all the time. I've okay. Known him for a long time. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Is he? Where's he out of? He's out of Houston. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then, uh, so Thursday was the stage, and then Friday you did the Dam Bar. That was last yeah. night, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, the return of comedy to the Dam Bar. I think they've been doing it every other month or something like that. Yeah. Kind of. You were there with uh, Luis, was Luis it? Luis and Matt, yeah. And Matt. Okay, cool. That was an awesome show, I bet. Yeah. If there were people there, it would have been Fuck. really awesome. <laughs> it was an awesome show in theory. Yeah. It was, yeah. The tables and chairs enjoyed themselves. Oh, they had a blast. One of them almost fell down. <laughs> was really drunk. Um, where else you been? What else you been up to, man? Uh, as um, far as traveling and shit. I went to Little Rock in Oklahoma City. That was pretty good. What uh, what venues are out there? Would you play? Uh, it's a comedy you? club called the Looney Bin. They, oh, okay, cool, man. In both both cities, owned and, by the same guy. And uh, what are the shows out like out uh, like out there? Like, is it like a um, weekend engagement type of thing? Actually, or? it was uh, Wednesday through Saturday. So I got to do 12 shows total. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Yeah. And, uh, how many, uh, shows a night? Is it one or two or, um, on the, like Wednesday, Thursday, it's one. And then oh. Friday, Saturday, it's two. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it was pretty cool. A little rock. The crowds are a little slow. They're not the, <laughs> not the smartest people on the planet. And then Oklahoma city is great. Like every show is just amazing there. So, uh, no bombing in Oklahoma city since you know, a long time. <laughs> no. Jeez, no. Yep, they don't allow the comics to bomb there. Yeah, so <laughs> everyone's in tip top on their fucking yeah, comedy. Even the open micers are killing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Uh, those um, those ones with the multiple shows, the uh, are the crowds pretty strong? The second show, like which yeah, usually are... they're not too bad. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of people, you know, I mean, the Friday late show is kind of tough. You know, people are pretty tired, but they're usually uh, like. Since I was in the feature spot, that's a pretty good spot to be in. You know, people aren't too tired or too drunk yet. So. Yeah, you go up at the perfect time, right? Yeah. Now. As a feature, do you get like 20 minutes or 30 minutes? 30? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's I got that's a, a terrifying number to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I headlined one night because the uh, the headliner couldn't make it on the Wednesday night show because he was auditioning for Last Comic Standing. So I got to feel How'd that go? That was great. That was cool. 
Yeah, I liked it. Good times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's going on? I know you were uh, writing that script and you submitted it to a couple of uh, contests. Yeah, we made uh, made the semifinals of a couple of them. Which were the ones that you guys uh, kind of looked at or, or threw your uh, work What at? are the names? Um, I think one was called the Circus Road Contest. Uh, one sounds loony. Yeah. <laughs> um, or sounds juggalo, either. <laughs> yeah. I I don't even know too much about these contests. Uh, was the other, one? other than how to win, right? <laughs> no. Oh, well, how to place. Where's the yeah. win? Where's the confidence card? <laughs> you have to be like, yeah, I'm gonna take that shit. Well, we already lost. So. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Still be proud about it. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty good. We made the semifinals in a couple of them, so that was cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they get thousands of submissions, so. Another thing that uh, took you away from us was football. I like your, football. Your yeah. football team is. We can't. Iowa, we can't right? tell. Iowa, yeah. You can't tell. And what's going on with Iowa? Uh, they had a pretty shitty year. They why did they, weather-wise, he means. <laughs> yeah. What was? Uh, why do you think? What do you attribute the shitty year to? Shitty coaching. Shitty coaching. Oh yeah. What's his? What's his name? Uh, the head coach is Kirk Ferentz. How long has he been there? <laughs> Sixteen years. Uh huh. Is it time for him to go? I think so. Just, well, or maybe the offensive coordinator, at least. At least. All the Iowa pride got to his head. Yeah. <clears throat> so what had, What was their record this year? Seven and five. Any major uh, injuries that played a role in that? Not really. Oh. <laughs> at least I had could. some chest pains during the year watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only on the fan side was there injuries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so your football team's done. No bowl game? I'll make a bowl game. It'll be a shitty one, probably. How many non well, are all the bowls? When does the playoff system start this year? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So are all the bowls shitty now, or are some? There's the a lot like of shitty bowls. The, There's like thirty nine bowl games or something like that now. Is there still the New Mexico Bowl? Oh yeah, that's a good one I hear. The winner gets free green chili. <laughs> I believe it. Pretty nice. Uh, are you looking up, uh, what are you looking up? I'm looking up our feature of the show. Annalise Vanderpool. Kurt, uh, since you've left us, we've, uh, we've... We've just... stopped giving herpes to people. Yes, uh, and, and we're trying to, uh, spread some goodwill and some, uh, beauty into this world. So, uh, <laughs> we have a daily, daily feature of Annalise Vanderpool. Are you fami- familiar no with Annalise Vanderpool? She was from That's So Raven. You should know that. That's So Raven. She was a vegetarian. She wasn't the black one. Well, she used to be. Like originally, <laughs> she got the part, but they're like, "Ah, oh, we have to, you know, make room for Raven yeah, because her name fits." Shows, that's so Raven. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. that's so Annalise Vanderpool. Yeah, <laughs> it should be though. Let me check her out. Let me check out that. Imagine lady. the billboards for that. It would be so long winded. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> like thirty words just to say the title of the show. <laughs> So uh, we have a daily feature where uh, we post a picture. And we usually just gawk. That's yeah. Not it. We just gawk. gawk. Why not? So we gawk out with our cock out. <laughs> Put gawking. it away, Alan. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Are That's you, it. That's all. Are you, so you're not familiar with that, So Raven? Never seen her? Uh, I heard of it. Uh-huh. I know uh, my friend Jacob shares a birthday with Raven. Ooh, is he That's, a lesbian too? I wish. <laughs> is that Jacob Breckenridge? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. We had him on. Yeah. Yeah. Sure did. It was very creepy. It was creepy, <laughs> it was huh? creepy. Because he brought a comic and he was like, well, don't read it right now. It's like, no, we're going to read it right now. We didn't <laughs> make you feel bad. <laughs> it was really funny, man. Yeah. Like, uh, where were you guys working? You know, together that, uh, that show JB's that I had. JB. Yeah, the one that I was too scared to do seven minutes at and ended up doing three and a half. Yeah. yeah. It's like your sex life. You're like, all right, I'm shooting for ten. <laughs> <laughs> then you go two and a half. Hours. Inches. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never fully get in and their, their thighs usually stop it. There's too much blockage. <laughs> what? Fat is what I'm saying. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So uh, we have, uh, yeah, we have uh, covered the. Oh, another, guess, another long lost friend. What do you know, folks? This is a long lost <laughs> friends show, where it's a this is your life type of shit. If you guys remember that, you guys remember that show. Nobody no. does. I think you're the only old guy here. <laughs> She's going to be walking into the uh, Bonobo studio here. Bonobo is overexcited. Very excited. 
Eleven out of right. <laughs> Jesus no. Christ. No, no, get the rock. Let's go get the rock. Uh, what do you make of this Kevin Krakenberry? Are you his yeah, friend what's on Facebook? Oh, yeah, he's hilarious. I love him. <laughs> Are you his friend on Facebook? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. I read that shit daily. That's <laughs> yes. only been around for a few days, I suppose. Yeah, it's exactly. Still, you know. Uh, yeah, he's posted some funny stuff. He's attacked some of the comics that I really like, though. But he, I mean, they've been kind of funny, but yeah. still. I think it's fun. I hope he attacks everybody at least once, though. Yes, that's what, that's I'm what I want. For. I don't know. I don't Nick, I think Nick Munoz wallows in it a bit too much. A little bit. Oh, yeah. Like gets off on it. Like I can, I can imagine him jacking off while he reads each status update uh-huh. and, and comes he, up with a response. Yeah, and he finishes when he sees the picture of the fox and the duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brynn, how's it going? Good. How are you, John? Long time no see. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. What happened? What, what happened? Been? Uh, I heard some rats. Yeah. Some rats was it was it the la- was rabbits. it because last time I was yelling at a customer service caller and <laughs> you don't want to be a part of anything potentially <laughs> yeah, illegal? That was fucking hilarious. <laughs> but I was the one going, Oh my god, stop, stop. Yeah. Like, Dude, they can trace the call. If they call the cops, you can trace it. And I didn't want to get arrested. They called that. asking for Charles Manson and I kind of got enraged at them. <laughs> like really enraged. <laughs> I put the the phone up to my headphones and made the gunshot sounds and said I just shot my son out of anger because this guy was calling asking for Charles Manson. <laughs> and then we replayed it, and after Alan does that, you can hear the guy go, "Oh God!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so it got a little bit too serious. That's awesome. I think we were all drinking pretty heavily. Yeah, that yeah, that was, uh, we came up with that idea. Lime Ritas. <laughs> like, yes, the Lime Ritas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for not bringing them this time. <laughs> Those things were getting a little too much. Right. So tell us about the rats. What's going on with the rats? Uh, so I work with kids. So for the site that I work at, the kids voted on like a pet to have at the site. And they were like a hamster, like a gerbil, or a rat. And they decided on a rat, and like, I fucking love rats. So I went to go pick it out with my buddy Joel. And I was like, oh my God, I'm falling in love with this one. And she was like, bitch, we are here for the children. And she was like, you are not going to get a pet today. And I was like, yeah. And then so I handed her one, and she was like, oh my God, it's the best. So I bought a rat, she bought a rat, uh-huh. and then we got a rat for the site. Like a week later, she calls me while I'm driving on the highway and was like, babies! And I was like, what? And she just kept like screaming into the phone. And she came home, dumped her rat out of her uh, Patron box she was living in. <laughs> and um, there were little pink babies all over the place. So Whoa. been taking care of rat babies. Did uh, So how many rat babies were there? Uh, there were eight, but six of them were, were alive. Oh. <laughs> Two were born dead. Uh, ah, stillborns. That's always funny. <laughs> Where's the laugh track now? <laughs> oh. <laughs> we didn't know what Stillborn to do with them. Rat babies. So we went to the front of her apartment complex where there were flowers and there were cars driving by, and we just buried them at the front of the apartment complex. Well, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm sure some cats will dig those up <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and enjoy them. <laughs> I uh, buried my uh, goldfish out in Edgewood. It wasn't a goldfish. It was actually an Oscar. You guys know what Oscars are? Those huge, <laughs> not on Sesame Street. Those huge, like fucking fish that they're you can assholes. Put in. They they're are very aggressive when you try to feed them. Yeah, and we had this one called Big Fish, and oh, uh, he, he died one time. Clever name. One time, many times. He died a couple times, but one time he died for real. And uh, so I, I buried him outside, and I like gave him this big, and I love that fish, you know, as far as fishes go. And uh, so I buried him, and I gave him like a real send off. And I came out the next day, and one of the dogs had dug him up and chewed his head off. <laughs> it was pretty fucking awesome. How deep did you bury him? Uh, I don't know. I think I, like, two inches, maybe. Oh, yeah. Let's see. That's why. <laughs> yeah. I see, I was the like problem one is the... he, he dug the hole with his dick. Mm. Mm. He can only go so far. <laughs> can only go so far. <laughs> Sorry, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I did to you, Alan. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so we have stuff that we didn't get to uh, last week. Uh, oh, my I God. Uh, one of the things, actually, now that Kurt is here, Kurt, you're a fan of the low blows, right? You go to the, the basketball games sometimes? I've been to a few basketball a games, yeah. Um, what do you think of the whole Wise Pies name change thing? Is that fucking cheesy as fuck? Cheesy. That's funny. <laughs> and meaty. <laughs> Good one, John. No, really. What do you, what I do you think, think that's stupid, bullshit? Yeah. Huh? I think it's pretty ridiculous. So what is it? Is it Wise Pies Arena, a.k.a. The Pit? Yeah. Is that what they call it? Uh-huh. It's pretty bullshit. But, you know, you don't have to call it that. You really don't. You just call it the yeah, pit. Yeah, just call it The Pit. I don't... 
they paid five million dollars. They get mm-hmm. to put their name in front of the thing. That's yeah. why not. Well, but now like five for, million dollars, they're local. That's a lot of money. Yeah, but like for when like on ESPN and stuff, when people come to the pit and like play during like March Madness and shit, it'll be like instead of like oh at the pit, it'll be like why is Pies Arena? Well, it like sounds what, dumb as fuck. Well, it's like what happened with the Sears Tower. Sears had naming rights for a while, and now it's the Willis Tower. What? Yeah. What are you talking about, Willis? Sears. Willis. That's weird. Yeah, uh, and plus, someone could just write cream in front of the second part of the name, and it'll look totally stupid, <laughs> right? <laughs> sure. Why is cream pies arena? <laughs> sure. I'm surprised. Comedy That's what we should call it anyway. Uh, cream pie. Why is, yeah. why is cream I'm going to get a arena? job at ESPN just to do that <laughs> when the Lobos just are on there. to do it. Cream pies arena. That would be awesome. So, Brand, you're not a fan either of that name change. No, I am not. I um, I actually, I did hear the that Wise Pies is local. I didn't know that. Yeah. Did anybody else know that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of. Apparently, one of the owners of the um of that spot is also one of the owners of uh, Vernon's Hidden Valley Steakhouse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vernon's Hidden Valley Steakhouse. You hear that, folks? Vernon's Hidden Valley Steakhouse. If uh, you'd like to sponsor, guys, just let us know. We have a very diverse <laughs> audience. Wise Pies Podcast. That's right. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, the uh, guy uh, who owned that, I did a roast for Jack Mo Bazell. Do you guys know who Jack mm-hmm. Mo Bazell is? And uh, it was booked by Ha Ha Hunt. Back in the day, mm. and and Mike uh, Mike uh, Boyle, Mike Boyle was there. Uh, who else? Keith Breckenridge, the Keith Breckenridge, oh, the not just regular Keith the Breckenridge. Keith Breckenridge, <laughs> not a Keith Breckenridge. <laughs> was there? <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> and also some other comics, uh, and. Uh, and the guy from Vernon's Val- Hidden Valley, Vernon's Hidden Valley Steakhouse. That's right. Where is it located? Uh, in a uh, bottle of ranch. <laughs> <laughs> Hidden Valley. <laughs> it's not easy to find. You have to get the right bottle because it's like, you know, you can't fill a whole There's steakhouse like, in a regular <laughs> size bottle. It's a really they giant bottle. They just have bottle. like little chunks in each bottle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they, they say it's a speakeasy. So there's like a glory hole you have to put yourself into. And then people are like, oh, you know the password. Anyway, uh, the guy was there and it was it was also a horrible sports memorabilia auction. It was like, oh, you could buy Willie Banks' uh, freshman jersey that he wore for the Lobos basketball team. He was a, a guard for the Lobos in the nineties. Uh, and guard, guard, <laughs> and uh, and uh, he bought all this memorabilia that was really horrible and shitty for like two, three hundred, five hundred. But he was just a really nice guy, so he bid for a lot of that shit nobody else wanted. Seemed like it was pretty cool. And no, Jack, he doesn't. Jack Mo Bazell actually, during that roast, uh, Jack Mo Bazell took a piss on stage, and that's when they kind of shut it down. I shit you not, this guy was so fucking drunk on stage, he uh, actually urinated. And like in the middle of his set? Uh, pretty much at the end. Like in his pants, or did he pull him down? No, or? he pulled him down. Like actually, I was closing up the roast, I was like, okay, Jack Mo Bazell, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, Bleh! And I was like, you heard the man, blah. And then all of a sudden, you know, it was ending. I was like, we'll see you folks. Have a good night. And then Jack was still, I don't know if he was on the mic or whatever, or it was closing up. What Something happened, but he basically on, on center stage, like turned around and urinated into a bucket, I believe. That, and well, at least at it's that into point, a bucket, not just on yeah. the floor. Yeah, yeah. What was in the bucket, you suppose? Uh, some coronitas. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> really melted the ice. Like. <laughs> ruined it uh anyway so that was my little story about where did that all start from i don't know uh it was a rose wise pies, or something? Wise pies. oh yeah oh, so that yeah. guy seems like a good joe the wise so, pies guy yeah he seems mm. like he's a good joe i don't know I, mm, mm. why couldn't it have been dion's though wouldn't people have, people would have came if it was like fucking dion's pit i think right? they would still be excited dion's to, like, ranch the pit dion's ranch the pit because <laughs> the people are so like attached to the name the pit if it just was like the pit sponsored by wise pies and then they sold a bunch of wise pies in there i feel like people would be okay with that but like changing mm-hmm. it to wise pies arena is just like ah fuck you like it just sounds dumb i yeah. feel like they didn't totally think it through yeah they they didn't really think it through because they saw the cash and they're well, like oh no, that's cool uh-huh yeah, that works <laughs> works for me that so it all totally comes down cool. to money so uh, I don't know. I'm not a big fan. We'll just call it the pit. I guess mm-hmm. you, that's a good suggestion. Nobody else will say the wise. pit of shit. No, no. Wise, actually, I wise changed cream pies. wise cream pies. I changed my mind. I will my call mind. it that. that's going to be wise mm-hmm. cream pies. 
Fair enough. Excited Wise to go to a Wise pit. Cream Pies pit. Yes. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'll leave my mark. <laughs> <laughs> go help pitch in and fill the pit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, let's see. What other shit did we know? Oh, Kurt, have you guys... Mm. Ah, we didn't discuss this with these two. Oh. Uh, have you guys heard about the Scott Stapp situation? How do you guys feel come down? I'm I'm been 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 How do you guys... Uh, <laughs> Feel about the whole Scott Scott Stapp debacle? I've been through everything. What happened with Scott Stapp? Well, I've been through everything. Yes, apparently he has. He is You're every time someone says his name. Sorry, Scott Stapp. Yeah. I've been through everything. He has. He's actually broke. Oh, yeah. And homeless and living at a uh, Holiday Inn. Good. So basically, he's living well, the life so of. So he's a, not that homeless. Yeah, he's living holiday the life of a comic, nice. right? No. <laughs> he's, uh, he's I wish we got life. Holiday Inns. Shit. <laughs> Scott Stapp's got a maid. <laughs> I've been bus. through everything. How did you feel about Scott Stapp? Oh, God. <laughs> I've been through everything. Yeah, fan. Were you a Creed huge, fan there? Huge Creed fan. Huge, yeah, you, huge Creed fan. He I know you like metal. For Creed. So. Uh, I mean, it was Creedy. I definitely. I, if I had known he was broken homeless right now, I'd probably go and rebuy the Creed albums <laughs> just to help him out a little bit. But, I mean, I've already got so many of them. Uh, Bryn, are you a fan? <laughs> you buy all the albums and you get a check for three cents. That's <laughs> fine. That'll help a little bit. Uh, those holiday ends aren't cheap. Mm, no, <laughs> go get not. another piece of bubble gum. <laughs> Preserve his. Uh, Did you see his you know, picture? The picture expensive. of him. I saw the videos where he was doing a, like he was uh, making a lot of those between his words. Oh, I don't know. I just saw one, and it's Scott Stapp looks like a nice mom. <laughs> have you seen that? <laughs> it looks like a nice mom. Yeah, have you seen his new picture? No. Yeah, Google that. You know, I didn't uh, think of it, but uh, <laughs> if you do give an interview. And, yeah, um, you should listen to the Creed albums really close like I do. He does that. <laughs> does he really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 There he is, Scott Stapp. Uh, he says that it's a cons- well. Not, I don't know if he said it was a conspiracy. A, a conspiracy, <laughs> a conspiracy is what it was. Oh, it does. was a conspiracy. Aww. he's adorable. He is. <laughs> looks like he looks like a maid at a Holiday Inn. He does. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's how he's. No, that's how he's staying there. Really, yeah. he's not even. He just pretends to be a maid all day. Keep <laughs> <Skippy>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You need any more towels? It's <laughs> <laughs> on the underside of his trolley. I'm here to fluff your pillow. <laughs> I'm the housekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, why do so many? Why do so many musicians do that? Whole <laughs> it's just the one in the '90s, mostly. Just, no, Metallica was doing it a while. Oh yeah. So. Have you heard Kevin hey, Kennedy's damn. impression of uh, James Hetfield? Oh yeah. I'm sure, it's he's, hilarious. It's pretty hilarious. Let me guess. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Uh. Uh. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Scott Stapp is, uh, Scott Stapp is, uh, Scott Stapp. Scott Stapp! Is, uh, he says that the IRS, due to a, uh, a clerical error, uh, Meaning he didn't pay the IRS, <laughs> probably that uh, they they are they have frozen his bank accounts, and uh, that the bank uh, won't uh, give him any money. They won't even, uh, in his own words, he said they won't even give him five dollars to eat. Yeah, money isn't free. Yeah, like he like he was just gonna ask. Why him, would you well, eat five dollars? Five dollars. <laughs> That's disgusting. It, see, he got really confused by the subway commercials with the whole five dollar foot long thing. He was just <laughs> like, oh, if you give me five bucks, I'm sure I can it, make it turn into a foot long and just eat it. <laughs> He's very out of touch. He looks like he would like chips though too, like the combo. Oh meal. yeah, dude. And the drink. Yeah, look right? at that chin too. Jesus needs to moisten those lips. <laughs> uh, and so, and, and also, he says that um, his record company won't give him any money, any of his royalties. Now, that that kind of seems like the most uh, the part that's most likely about the story. <laughs> are like, they getting any royalties to pay him? Well, are, like, are they getting any money for Creed to pay to him in royalties? Um, <laughs> probably not. Maybe that's the reason. Like they're not that's giving what he him any understand. because they don't have any. <laughs> they're like, no one's bought a fucking album, like, a Creed dude, album in gave, seven years, dude. We what gave the you fuck, all man? the money. Like, it's gone. All the, all the Creed albums are sold, dude. <laughs> there aren't any left. There aren't any new ones. There's not... 
anyone sitting at the computer on Cyber Monday looking for Creed albums. Will you give him some pretty earrings? <laughs> he already has them. <laughs> I know. Well, like, make them a little bigger. I can give him some Chola earrings. You should give him a yeah. pearl yeah. necklace. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Give him a wise pies arena. <laughs> <laughs> wise pies arena. <laughs> so, so he also um, recently, in order to uh, to take on uh, the, the people responsible for these conspiracies, he needs a lawyer who's going to fight for him. And so he's going to get a, a lawyer who's not afraid to expose the truth. Mm. Apparently, or is what be he's paid for. in what? Frank Azar, <laughs> probably that too. <laughs> be paid in sexual favors, <laughs> and uh, and he has started a uh, a what is a crowdfunder or some shit. It's kind of like a Kickstarter. It should be go fund yourself. Yeah, only it's a <laughs> it's a mother funder or something like that. <laughs> uh, and it's got I think it was as of Wednesday it had five hundred and seventy two dollars in it. Uh, towards his uh, defense, and uh, oh no, what's he doing? He wants to come out with an album and a uh, and, and a, book. a book, right? Because people are clamoring for that. So he took in five hundred and seventy dollars <laughs> in donations through Wednesday, and uh, that was from like four donors. So, <laughs> jeez, <laughs> I don't think a whole lot of and people two of them were like one hundred and forty bucks each, and then the rest were like, like twenty dollars. One was his mom. Very sad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel bad for you, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy Bear. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like uh, they were just so big, though, for like, what, four or five years, maybe? Four or five months. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Weeks. That's ridiculous. People were into, into that type <laughs> of rock. <laughs> they were into the gaudy stuff. John Gotti. They got the, like, when the band, like, said to him we should get into gaudy stuff. They meant, like, more mob stuff, but he took it completely the other way. And then, well, look, they got successful for a few months and then broke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now they're living at Holiday Inn. Uh, Is it Holiday Inn Express? Or, just or like, an actual Holiday Inn? I think it's an actual Holiday Inn. Mm. So he's uh, chilling at the Holiday Inn. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, the, I don't know that's what he's about. Yeah. Um, so Buddha Scott Stamp. Boo. <laughs> Yeah. Should have been good with your finances like MC Hammer. Damn shit. <laughs> yeah. Asshole. Uh, the word is that he loves the cocaine, though. That's like... Uh, I thought that was the Buck Cherry guy. Well, <laughs> him too. I heard they used to do it together. <laughs> Did you ever see the uh, Kid Rock Scott Stapp blowjob video? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Not on each other. I was oh. sorely disappointed. But <laughs> That's stupid. Did you have that saved on your phone, too? No. But it was side by side, I hear. Oh. Side by side action. Nice. At the Holiday Inn? At the ho- I don't know. If it, no, Holiday it was probably Express. at the Ritz and shit <laughs> oh, yeah. back in the day. Yeah, Kid Rock was pretty popular. <clears throat> Although Kid Rock would probably just be smoking crack in a Motel 6, too. Mm-hmm. You know, right? Wouldn't, don't you think, man? Oh, yeah. Uh, you got to live that low life after, uh, you know, being so big in front of so many people with this bomb biggie bombie dangy dang shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was never a fan of bomb. Wait, is it Bob with the Bob? But yeah, whatever that fucking song is. <laughs> no, I don't even like sing it. Um, good. Yeah, so Buddhist God stuff. We'll Done get. with him. Done. Uh, what was the guy in the chipmunk costume shit? What happened? There? Give me a minute. I need to find that one. What? What? Chipmunk? Yeah, chipmunks. Not the dancer brand. Those guys. Yeah, are stop getting anyway. so excited. You mean Chip and Dales? Whatever. Thunder from <laughs> Down Under did come to it. Albuquerque. <laughs> oh, did they? Yeah, I didn't. Get it. I didn't see it. Would you have I gone? Went. I wanted you to go as a joke. I thought it would be hilarious. Really? But nobody would go with me. Kurt would have gone. I would have gone. Oh. We could have heckled him. I know, right? That's why <laughs> I nice abs, to- faggot. <laughs> 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 Look at all those muscles. What a homo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Here's here's uh, Britain bans ten adult film acts. Oh, that's a good. <laughs> Did you guys hear about this one? Did you guys hear about this one? (laughs) Uh, Am I right? (laughs) (laughs) What would uh, what would Jesse Ventura think of that? Huh? No. Um, So Britain banned uh, ten adult film acts. Let me bring this up here. What? Wait. Ten acts of porno are now illegal in Britain. Thank you. I was so confused. Yes, it's not fair. They're You're going to take personal frustration with this, Bryn. Because we've been over a few of these before. You've been over what? Tentacle porn? No, not tentacle porn. Well, 
I guess so. One of them is uh, penetration with what? objects associated with violence. Oh. So okay. anything that's not a dildo, but even then in Grand Theft Auto, you can run around and beat people with dildos. Mm. Uh, that's one of them. Waterworks is another one. Peeing. Mm-hmm. Squirting. Jackamo. Fisting. Yeah, Jackamo can. No one can break the internal vacuum anymore. <laughs> no one could ever break the internal You have to break the internal vacuum. You have to. <laughs> that's in the Rule book. Rule number one. Mm-hmm. That's in, yeah. They're, they're being way too uh, were, British. Were, were they took away guns, and now they're taking away porn. Why are they taking them away? Because they just like, or like, were people not breaking the internal vacuum? <laughs> I mean, they're right. having a really if hard time You're not going to do that. it right. You're not going to do it at all. <laughs> Yeah. Like, or are they just like saying like no to it? But they're still gonna be like underground. Like now it'll just be like harder to well, find. Well, you can't like, buy it. Oh, I have a fifth. You can't video. make it, and you can't buy it. But you could still watch it online. What? Yeah. How, see, that's like how how are you gonna try to regulate porn when people could just watch it online anyways from mm-hmm. other countries? Internet man. Hmm. You're very quiet on the mic, John. He's looking uh, at porn. Looking at, um, <laughs> <laughs> let's see here. They banned, uh, oh, you can't do aggressive whipping anymore. What? Okay, when is whipping Probably not worse. aggressive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice you whipping. You can it's gently whip. Like, like, eh. Yeah, when it's like tassels, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. That's not whipping, though. <laughs> like tassels. I'm sorry. I have uh, a problem with that one, too. No aggressive whipping. Okay. Um... Probably worse if it's an interracial film. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> the Brits this week uh, <laughs> quietly banned certain sex acts uh, from quietly. pornography filmed in the country. So I guess you can't film them. And you can't buy it. <clears throat> really? Yeah. So on the internet, you can still look at it? We were just saying that. <clears throat> but wait, wait, Where wait, were wait. you? Doesn't it count as buying it, though, if you pay like a monthly fee to watch it? No, I don't think it's a monthly does that fee either. to watch it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there's so many Some free people? sites. I know there are, but... I don't know. I'm just well, I'm going over all of the all of the things. Okay, well the article continues. Well it won't prevent <laughs> uh porn aficionados. Aren't those just perverts? Yeah. Porn, or like or John. porn addicts. <laughs> hey, I'm not an addict. It's three hours from twelve to three AM. Uh <laughs> from streaming whatever cranks their motor streaming. from out of the country servers, blah blah blah. Um uh, let's see here. Um God, where's the fucking list of this? This doesn't even have the list. It just mentions. Well, then you're something. looking up the wrong one, man. Yeah, didn't you? Did you send me that link? I might have, uh, you know, but you, we know have it on the piece of paper with the link on it, but we can't click on a piece of paper, can we? No, I don't think we can. But not yet. No, it's because the website didn't even come up. Didn't even come out on this. Um. I don't know. They probably next. What's next? Are they going to ban Bill Cosby stand-up specials? I mean, yeah, is that going to happen? Should. Is that going to happen? He's such a bad comic. Is that what we're talking about? <clears throat> well, this kind of plays into it. Uh, we've talked about it a little bit, Kurt. How? Uh, what's your uh, your opinion of Bill Cosby? Like pre-sex scandal? What's like sex? was he? Because everybody kind of grew up with Bill Cosby, right? Did you grow up with Bill Cosby? <laughs> yeah. Not I, next door to you, but on TV and shit. There's a sex scandal with Bill Cosby? <laughs> uh, well, a, l- a small one. A Not small many one. people know. Just we're like a couple people, the yeah. Okay. Tell this me is about it like, a bit. Uh, We're kind of afraid of what's going to happen after we bring this up. Okay. But, you know. Why? Is it going to go national? Because nobody really knows about it. Uh, I remember we got Adam uh, Richmond in a lot of trouble. We oh, did. Yeah. <laughs> Adam Richmond. Well, he was a headliner. He shouldn't have gotten in trouble for putting his dick in that chick's face. I know, somebody. right? She's a waitress. She's asking for it. Yeah, he's a headliner. Respect the comedians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, did you were were you a fan of Bill Cosby back in the day? I wasn't actually a huge Cosby fan show? at all. Like, I liked him. I mean, I didn't go buy his albums and stuff like that, though. I don't know. I never watched the Cosby show that much. Really? Yeah. We, well, I grew up in a really small white town, so... So, not everybody was, it was like... like well, it's kind of weird to watch that. The Cosby <laughs> Show was banned from your town. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have that channel. You're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're right. NBC is a pretty small station. It is a pretty small affiliate. I remember Did you know different uh, strokes though? Different that, strokes. <laughs> yeah. for different folks. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That was I a great so. show. So uh, Bill Cosby, uh, yeah, uh, some more, <laughs> some more people came out. Even more? Yes. How many more? Oh my God. Is it the rest of them? Like, wait, are we going to get through? Did you guys like 
really like not know about this until it came out. Like people no. have been talking about this for years. I, right. I had good. Heard, yes. Because I, for a split <laughs> second, I was very worried about you because I was like, shit, bitch. I was like, well, no, <laughs> I had this one. Even like Jesse, everybody has been talking about it. Even Jesse Ventura interviewed him. Oh, he did. Definitely. He did. I have the video. You want to watch? Mm-hmm. It's very compelling. Oh, yeah. Ooh, is it? I love Jesse Ventura. Let's see. Yeah. He's one of America's most popular voices out there. And he recently launched VoicesOfLiberty.com, a news and views video site to which I contribute. Please welcome our old friend back, Bill Cosby. <laughs> Let's get right to the nitty gritty. So uh, I can make the statement Obama came out and said it's a political stunt. You'd agree with that? No, no, we don't answer that. There's no response. Okay, now, speaking of political stunts, do you think anyone's him, taking yeah, Sarah weird. Palin's impeachment <laughs> plan seriously? Well, there is no comment about that. And, and I'll tell you why. I think you were told. Hey, don't put fucking words in my mouth. I think you were told. I I don't want to compromise your integrity. Do you well, we'll just dad? fly with that. What the hell? My government really told me that, so... But... Um, we don't, I don't talk about it. Let's talk about inflation. You think we're on the brink of massive inflation. Please explain that to me. Thank now, you. Now, can I get something from you? Who the hell is that? that none, That's none of that Camille. Will be shown. That's no, I didn't Camille. say anything. But I, I'm asking your integrity that since I didn't want to say anything, but I did answer you in terms of I don't want to say anything of what value will it have. Come back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern for the conclusion to my interview with Bill Cosby. Until then, <laughs> keep the conversation going online. And as always, stay vigilant. Huh. Wow, groundbreaking interview with uh, was, Bill Cosby. I learned so much. <laughs> and it's weird because he wasn't even asked about the rate, but he was treating it like he was. Mm -hmm. Like he he wasn't gonna go there. He wasn't. I mean, I know Jesse. Jesse's about conspiracies, but he wasn't gonna bring up the rape. Um, it's just a weird reaction from Bill. I know Bill overreacted. Uh, actually, there's new shit today. Oh no. Now he's in some legal hot How many more water. people has he been raping? You'd think he would stop as soon as the news broke. Mm -hmm. Well, this shit goes back years. Think he'd take a breather. <laughs> the LAPD is investigating alleged Lap. sexual assault at the Playboy Mansion uh, by Bill Cosby. Um, <laughs> it happened uh, just, was it Friday? Yeah. Cops already have their sights set on Hugh Hefner's estate for critical evidence. There's got to be so much cum. Oh, my God. All so over every inch of the fucking Playboy Mansion. So much even the guest list to that sift you, through. Yeah, even the guest list that you have to sign into. It's just stacked. The pages <laughs> are all stuck together. The just clipboard's got to be disgusting. Samples. The clipboard. Samples and samples. <laughs> the clipboard? <laughs> clipboard. <laughs> yeah, instead of like that normal like you rod, it's just a big clip that holds a piece of paper in place. <laughs> it sounds like... <laughs> can't find the clipboard! <laughs> Why is this paper so wet? <laughs> <laughs> Rather be clipboarded than waterboarded. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the first thing they need... Uh, Let's see here. They need to examine, or they, they're trying to obtain evidence to investigate um, allegations uh, Bill Cosby is facing regarding a woman who was 15 at the time at the Playboy oh, Mansion. Shit. Well, she's old enough now, so it's fine, right? Ju <laughs> yeah. Judy Retroactively Huth. made it legal. <laughs> Judy Huth and her lawyer, Gloria Alred. God, that one was oh, a no. cunt. I mean, I'm sure she does some good work for some people, but she is really a cunt, like a lawyer, like really. Uh, Especially with that name. Yeah, uh -huh. all red. She hasn't had a period in years. Yeah. Probably since Meta what's puzzled. happening was on this fucking, <laughs> hot on flash. fucking airwaves. You don't need hot flashes in court. And you don't. That shit's awful for you. Um, and filed a police report. Uh, the LAPD will investigate, even though it's pretty clear the statute of limitations has long ago run out. The incident occurred in 1974, so that was Jeez. before I was fucking born. Oh my god! And Alan knows how long that how long ago that was, right, buddy? Yep, I was two. 
what? 1994? Oh, 1974. 74. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, oh, it's two. <laughs> Sources say detectives are hoping Hefner's people will be helpful, but it's unclear how much can be documented from an event that went down four decades ago. In a place uh, that is a filled, place with, that semen is every filled day. with cum, yeah. Um, I think we found the spot. <laughs> we found it. Cosby says Huth is a liar who unsuccessfully tried selling her story to the tabloids 10 years ago. Mm. Uh, Kids yeah. say the darndest things. Don't they? <laughs> he knows. That was his fucking show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you think he would know? Maybe that's why he created That's why it. he started the show. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he was, was raping like, a bunch of kids. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, don't listen to them. They're no, silly. No. <laughs> that's why I got this They're show. They're just joshing. They say the darndest things. <laughs> He's like, now, like, no, no, eat this pudding. <laughs> now eat the pudding. Yeah, so what are, are they just fucking wasting their time just basically by investigating <laughs> something that they can't even charge him with? I mean, is that... Basically, mm. what that? Yeah, kind of. But I think at like. this point, it's more of the public shame thing. Yeah, I think. It, I think. Yeah, at this point, that it's like they feel like they have to at least try and do something because it's like it's come out. Even though it's past statute of limitations, but since it's such a big deal, they're like, yeah, we'll look. But well, it is rape. We'll walk <laughs> in and do it like a periphery gaze around the room. <laughs> but they oh. know they're not going to find anything. <clears throat> so. um I'm checking Bill Cosby's... Uh, oh my God. Checking his records. I'm checking his Wikipedia page. Ooh. <laughs> Have people started editing it? it? It's already up there. Like, one of the major... It's actually got... Uh, well, probably because of the font they're using. But it's got the most space uh, for the menu is sexual assault allegations. Mm -hmm. And you click it. And it's a pretty fucking long Jesus scroll, Christ. my friend. Oh, it's like The Hobbit. Yeah. It's, it's like reading Tolstoy or some <laughs> shit. You wrote The Hobbit, right? Uh, <laughs> Tolstoy? Yeah. Tolstoy. According to, uh, <laughs> to a November 2014 Washington Post article, 16 women have publicly stated that Cosby sexually assaulted them with 12 saying he drugged them at first and another saying he attempted to her... <laughs> to drug her uh, from the couch to the bed. Do you want someone else to read this, John? No, no I'm good. Uh, on January uh, 28, 200,000. I thought you were going to say uh, 20 aught. 20 aught. <laughs> Lachili uh, Covington alleged in a police report, I uh, wonder if Sting was there, filed in <laughs> on February 1st that Cosby groped her in his apartment. On January uh, 204, uh, <laughs> Andrea Constand, <laughs> a former Templey uh, University employee. God. Are you going to read the entire thing like this? <laughs> this is going to get old pretty quick, right? Three hours of this. <laughs> uh, well, basically, my whole point He's is that... He's raping is a bunch of chicks. Yeah. Fucking, Long story even if short. it's not true... And I, and I underline the word fucking even, dude. That is a pretty huge section of your Wikipedia page to be yeah. devoted to something that you had nothing to do with. Mm -hmm. So that's just kind of humorous to me. No, he just said he doesn't answer that. There's no response. We don't answer that. He did. Say, that sounded so bad. Apparently, too. I don't want to tell Camille. No. <laughs> don't tell Camille. No, it sounds Camille's like sitting right there. What the fuck are you fuck doing? Her. I'm She's asking right your integrity. There. You can't ask my integrity. I know. What was the deal with <laughs> My again? integrity doesn't have a consciousness. Because <laughs> he was like, but your integrity, because you asked the questions and I answered the questions by saying I wouldn't answer them, but I still answered them. And I was like, well, in terms so no. of I don't want to talk about it. In terms of don't go and tell people that I refuse to answer. But technically he did. He answered them loud and clear by not mm -hmm. answering them. He answered exactly. them with a question. And if this um, this one broad is uh, is just money seeking, then it, how bad is it that they're that he that the only time he comes out is when someone is money seeking, and he's like, "That's not true. I didn't fucking do shit to that bitch." And then someone else comes out, and he's like, "I don't, I don't know about that." It's like we have the money orders <laughs> to gonna, prove it. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I'm not going to talk about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do shit to that one. Um. Let's see here. 25 best I'm st was I the one that was money seeking it. ugly <clears throat> oh you know it <laughs> uh yeah uh, well she, she <laughs> oh, you like know she was it. a looker back in the day oh. now you know 
Oh, well, was that one like in the seventies too? Yeah, uh, it was seventy four. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. At the Playboy. Oh, mansion. that's the Money Seeker. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, one of the broads that actually I was reading this article this morning. One of the uh, broads that alleged uh, acts against Bill Cosby is Lou Ferrigno's wife, mm. who was a Playboy bunny at the time. Mm-hmm. And uh, she said she was trying to tell Lou about it after it happened. Her, I and was he was like, you. "What? <laughs> <laughs> what?" Because Lou Ferrigno can. Oh, I I didn't know you were going for the deaf joke. Sorry, I was. <laughs> he said, and I quote, "Let's get him." <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was better than the where I took it. Yeah. I don't agree with so. that. <laughs> uh, what type of porn did? Britain ban. Seems like it's a pretty fucking easy question to get out of the fucking Spanking, internet. Spanking, whipping. Uh, there was ten altogether. No, no, it's only aggressive whipping. Spanking, mm-hmm. aggressive whipping, penetration whip. with objects associated with violence. Which are octopi tentacles associated with violence. Yes. Really? They take down ships in oh, pirate true. movies. That's Krakens. Uh, still. Oh, okay. So, uh... There was that video of Kraken for the Kraken. <laughs> 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 Let's see, then waterworks, uh, squirting, Mm. Uh, fisting is six. Um, what were the other ones? Penetration. Uh, I said that. With you said that. Yeah. Oh, um, wait, how many were there? Ten. Uh, Ten. Face sitting. Face no, sitting was face one of them. Sitting. Yeah, you can't do that. That's horrible. You can suffocate. What next? Are they gonna stop face booking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Has anyone actually ever died from that? Face sitting. Yeah. I Maybe bet. in like an extreme situation. Yeah. Like in that weird BDSM fat lady shit. Yeah. Chubby chasers? No, not chubby chasers. Like my 600-pound life chasers. <laughs> okay. Where all they do is sit. <laughs> Where all they do. <laughs> they need to get a crane no just to sit her up. He actually had to, it <laughs> involved yeah. a lot of mechanisms. Yeah, for that, they actually have to get the dog to bar- like to tunnel under the mattress <laughs> oh, for the guy to be able to get his head into place. <laughs> um, one thing here, I don't, I don't know if this is still in, in effect, but this uh, article keeps coming up. Uh, Britain to ban porn from public Wi-Fi. Uh, this was back in May fourth, uh, public Wi-Fi, uh, twenty thirteen. Yeah, so that means that you wouldn't be able to stream that at shit. the library. Yeah. God damn it! I know. So don't ever go to Britain looking for porn. I need to look at porn at a coffee did, shop. Wait, did anybody ever go to Britain for porn, anyways? No, <laughs> they always, I, think the, I never think that. I think the the old idea of British porn is like it's very respectful, yeah, and it's just mm-hmm. very boring. And what do you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're actually making it that way now. <laughs> uh, do you have the uh, guy in the chipmunk costume? Uh, oh, computer is yeah. a little oh. freezing up. We're still broadcasting. Sure. I just can't really get away from this fucking screen right now. Gotcha. Um, what was the deal with the guy in the chipmunk suit, though? He gets tackled by some asshole kids. Oh. It was very funny. What is oh, he doing? Okay. Like, it's that classic sort of uh, someone runs up behind the person, like, gets down, and then the other person just tackles them, <laughs> and sen- they, like, so essentially they, like, flip over. Um, and then the dude, like, uh, gets back up and does a front flip and lands on the guy, <laughs> like a wrestling-style nice. front flip. It was pretty awesome, but, uh, you know, my description wasn't, so yeah. <laughs> thanks for bringing that up. Well, I thought you might have. I didn't know we I'm were panicking. having issues. Don't panic. Those costumes, it. actually, it might hurt to body slam one of those. Some of them have, like, actual, like, shells inside. I used to work at Red Robin, and I would be the Robin. Because I would get paid. You get paid 20 bucks an My hour. Had to do and every 15 times. minutes, you get to go and spend 15 minutes in the freezer. And then you get free food at the end. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'll do this. <laughs> Except the fucking thing is super hot and it's like this giant shell and then one time I got locked in the freezer for like 20 minutes because my handler like my little helper person got distracted and uh, the freezer wouldn't open so I was like inside and contemplating eating frozen bread wow yeah <laughs> I don't know frozen bread might be good I don't know did they, did they eat bread in that movie frozen yeah I didn't um, see that no wow a culture in the mid- medieval times where they didn't eat bread. Disney's fucking up. <laughs> They're not being historically accurate. Speaking of frozen, uh, this uh, next story regards someone who should have been frozen but wasn't. Uh, apparently, it's the body family. Yeah. Ooh, apparently, yeah. Mm-hmm. body. Um, let's see here. Where did this take place? Canada. Canada. In Canada. Uh, Canada. Peter Wald's family truly believed he would rise from the dead. <laughs> they had prayed for it every single day while his corpse rotted 
for six months in an upstairs bedroom of their North End Hamilton home. Uh, when neighbors asked about her husband, uh, she would tell him <laughs> that he was in God's hands now. So uh, kind of like an evasive answer there. Um, on Monday, uh, let's see. Uh, Kaling, his wife, uh, pled guilty to failing to notify police or the coroner that uh, her husband had died uh, and was... Uh, and that he, ha after not being treated by a doctor, so he died, blah, blah, blah. The criminal uh, charges laid in the case neglect uh, are, uh, what is it, ne neglect of duty regarding a dead body and offering it <laughs> an indignity to a body. I guess that's more like the treat treatment of the corpse. Um, let's see here. Where's yeah, the You're supposed to donate it to Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he took a pill from Cosby, and he didn't wake up. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he took too much. Took too much, man. Took too much. I think he had diabetes or something like that. Diabetes. And had a leg infection. Yes. And then I guess the story was saying that um, he had a leg infection and was pretty much held in bed for a while in a coma. So he went into a coma yeah. because of his leg being really, really bad. And then he kind of never woke up, and the wife was sleeping with him in the bed for a few days oh. until she started to notice the bloating. That's so sexy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but then she uh, sealed up. She talking about she, like, herself sealed or up her the husband? door with duct tape and all this stuff. And I guess when the uh, cops were um, finally notified that something was up, uh, they could like the neighbors were saying that they saw flies on the window. Gross. And so wait, she duct taped the door shut? Yeah. So if she he did come back to life, it's smell. not like he could get out of the room. Well, she Let me out of here, you bitch! <laughs> you bitch! I came back! See, but once the bloating he starts, there's again. like you got to think there's no way unless like a baby's going to be born from him. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's bloating up. Maybe that was her whole thought process that he would be these, reborn. From yeah, he would be reborn gaseous. and have an accelerated oh. aging process. <laughs> that's horrible. That's his insides liquefying, yeah. putrefying, and bugs and flies and all the deliciousness mm. <laughs> um <laughs> let's see here now this came out uh, just the other day just this past week and within the last three or four days uh he died probably around march 20th <laughs> uh, yeah according to the uh facts read out in court monday he uh, did suffer from diabetes and his left foot had become infected uh wait wait, wait. when did they find him so he uh, died in March when they find him? Just a, last week. Oh, no, no. The the Let's see here. This court case just came last week, so probably about a month ago or so. Yeah, so he's... It was, it was, I wonder if it was that hot. You're never going to be able to get that stink out of the carpet. Oh, yeah. Uh, and they even... They, uh, I guess they even had, like, their uh, prayer van. Like, they had a family van that had a bunch of, like, scripture stuff written all over it, and God is great and all this handwritten oh, yeah. and uh, a few months into the dad being dead the neighbors were noticing that they just painted over the van and started <laughs> acting really weird so They're like all over all the prayer stuff oh. <clears throat> cuz yeah. they were like ah. oh. oh fuck this shit's not working shit <laughs> um wasting my life on this shit <laughs> Could have slept in on those Sundays. Okay. <laughs> so actually, this took. It, it looks like it was actually a couple of years ago. So it was May, uh, in May, wait, wait. May of 2013 uh, that he died, and then in September of 2013 they finally uh, discovered. So it the took body. this long to actually say something about this it. This was just now that the court case has finally moved through their court system. Uh, uh, the sheriff had arrived to evict the family from the house after they had defaulted on the mortgage. Expecting the eviction, the family packed the dead man's belongings and. and and his shoes and bags ready to go. Like he's going on a trip. He's just going on a trip, a short trip, We're folks. going on a trip, honey. Uh, that was how strong our faith was, she said. But when she unlocked the bedroom door, his body, which had attracted rodents, oh. was so decomposed it was impossible to di identify by p photograph. Photograph. <laughs> I bet there were some dead rat babies in there. Mm, there probably, probably were, like, crawling out of his eyes. They're like, oh, what color are his eyes? Rat. <laughs> 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 what color is his hair? A uh, maggot. Um, well, maybe that's how he came back to life, in the lives of the little rats. So she could have carried is. them up and raised them and been like, and people come up and be like, what's the name of your rat? And what was his name? Howard. Uh, 
Howard? I don't know. Like, Howard. Meet Howard, my husband. Peter. And it'd be Peter. like 12 Peter. different... Peter. Meet Peter. And there'd be 12 different rats. Like, she'd be like, each one of them is part of him. What is this name? What is this one's each name? Each one carries Peter. his essence. <laughs> <laughs> this is H. This is O. They all have diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> they, all got, they all got the beatus. <laughs> Look at his um, little diabetes eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. <laughs> so decomposed, it was impossible to identify bu- by photograph. His feet were sticking out from under the blankets Ew. with gauze still wrapped around the left foot. Oh. The sheriff said, okay, that's enough. Closed the door <laughs> and then vomited it profusely. Um, what a puss. I know. Okay, that's enough. Police and the coroner were called, but because of the mummified state of the body, uh, that's weird. I thought he was the dad. <laughs> Toxicology <laughs> tests could not be conducted, and a cause of death was not confirmed, though it is likely due to natural causes, the pathologist report says. Uh, Children's Aid Society, everyone living in the home. So there were Wait, five. Wait, Children's Aid Society? I uh, was called in too, but because there was kids. Uh, five or six children, ages 11 to 22. If you've got a 21 year old uh, girl on your hands and needs a place to stay, let me know. Um, let's see. Is death really just belief? Yeah, they all thought he would, he would come back to life, is pretty much what they thought. Why wouldn't he? He was he, he has diabetes. Hit. Yeah. He hasn't come back yet. No. No. Uh it's sad. <laughs> bury him in a box in case he does just in case. I guess okay. I'm just a little confused why they thought that would work. I get that they were super like into their faith and shit, but that hasn't happened to anybody mm-hmm. since Jesus. <clears throat> and like And that's even hard to prove. Je- I know that was hard <laughs> to prove. And Jesus was his goddamn son. <laughs> I feel like that one had a little bit like a little bit of bias. Yeah. Why would they bring back him? Yeah. Nepotism. Mm, yeah. That's why. It's my kid. I say he gets a second shot. My kid gets to come back. Yep. So wait, I'm confused then. There are bullies. He died once, but when did he die again? Did he just disappear one day? He just oh, shit, floated. Yeah. He floated up to the clouds. Is what kind of what the story says. That's lame. This was like all Whoa, he floated away like uh, Goodbye, like Magneto. <laughs> I feel oh, if Jesus yeah. was gonna fly, he'd fly like Magneto mm-hmm. with his with his palms <laughs> rather See, than like Superman. I think like Moses was. I think Moses was the Magneto of the Bible world. You think so? A little bit. If he was able to, you know, part the water ocean, bender. <laughs> part there the was seas. probably a lot more metal particulates in the ocean, <laughs> allowing him to be able to part the water with his magnet powers. That's plausible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Unless, yeah. Oh. Bonobo's not buying yeah, the it. The dog caught, called my bullshit. <laughs> He's like, fuck that. that. Shit. All right, let's go for a little palate cleanser. Mm. Of the, I finally got the computer working. Hey, uh, oh yeah. Oh, what happened? Well, no, what happened? No, that seemed something. like a sincere question. What's wrong? Actually, uh, we should we should think about taking a look at Troy's video. I was impressed with the Troy. At least the first few minutes. But it's not about Nexus. No, but when the Nexus one comes out. Yeah, okay. we'll do Wait, it then. But it's what? about back alley. What is it? Anyway, get to what you're going to get to, and then... I'm out of it, shit. I'm so out of it. I don't even Just know a little palate is. cleanser video. Okay, yeah. I have to pee. Oh, you're lame. I have to go drink. Is, it, is that a chipmunk, or is it like a fireman? I don't know. A fireman mustache? chipmunk. It it's looks a fire like monk. It's a fire <laughs> monk. It's a fire monk. Okay. Kind of fat. It's got a mustache. Okay, it's a person. It looked like a chipmunk at first. I wish I wish uh, it yeah. was a chipmunk. It looks like an Italian pizza maker or something. <laughs> an Italian <laughs> pizza maker with a red hat. Yeah. What is he playing? It looks like bagpipes. Okay. Why would a fireman be playing I don't that? know. I would, okay. You're being way too critical. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm sorry. There's a lot of weird things about this. And that is okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Did he hit his head on the yeah. car? <laughs> <laughs> God damn. And then no. a bunch of unintelligible yelling in a different language. Mm-hmm. You can't tell if they're mad or not. Yeah. It's like with that swinging grandma video. Oh, my God. You can't tell if she was irritated or was just like, whoa, that's way too much for me. I need to go home now. <laughs> I've had my calisthenics that, like, stretch her back out with all the centrifugal force of spinning her. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. There's no reason to watch it other than, like, hey, that's funny. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. funny. Yeah. Usually we can find some material behind it, but I'm uh, no. Mm-hmm. no. It's just funny. There's nothing there. Some guy getting knocked over. Is that? 
Turns out he was in a fireman costume, though. Yeah, not a chip. Fireman? With a big mustache. We'll watch it again since you missed it. Yeah, yeah, let me see. Okay, whoa, I'm a guy in a costume. Oh, the fucker's no, really going for it. to me. This would be horrible if I fell or something. Not a single <laughs> blind spot. No. Because his think, eyes are giant. Honestly, he's probably, like, listening to music <laughs> and has no clue what the fuck's going on. Oh, God. No. No. That was like some human sentence. It was like ass to mouth. Ass to mouth. <laughs> yeah, he he landed like right where the guy's head would be. That's horrible. Probably some. It was probably some uh, little Mexican girl. Was that a Mexican food? No, it was place? probably Scott Stapp trying to make a little extra <laughs> money. And fuck um. <laughs> there he is. Oh, Scott. Stapp. He does look like a sweet little mom. Mm-hmm. Such a good woman. Can you Photoshop his head into the window of a minivan? <laughs> <laughs> or like, give a, me a minute. Into like a kitchen. There's Ooh. a pie. Oh yeah, like with and an there's apron. There's a pie on the windowsill. Is it a cream pie? Ooh, <laughs> that would be. Of course so it is. It's Scott's dad. It's a wise cream pie. <laughs> Can't wait to taste that sweet, sweet. Uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> cream pie. That's where I was going with that, but we've said it before. Uh. Want we'll to take a break real quick? Something. Yeah, do we have some? Yeah, we have some. We're, we're, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. We'll be right back, folks. Hey, we're at fucking 66. Route 66. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Route 66 oh my God, show. This is so iconic. If you play this at a certain speed, you'll hear, what is that song where you drive uh, on Route 66? No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't know yeah, what that, that was. Apparently, like, uh, America you drive, the Beautiful? Yeah, 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 you'll hear America the Beautiful if you play this at a certain speed. That's, what's the, how fast do you have to drive to, do you, did you read that story? Uh, def, according to Sammy Hagar, not 55. It's like 45, isn't it? <laughs> I think, they want I think like it's 45, 45 yeah. 45. Yeah, it's like 50 or under or something like that. And if you're doing like 45, that's supposedly like the sweet spot. And if you're doing just over, it's like a sped up version if you don't have time to listen to the whole thing. <laughs> or you just really speed up if you want to skip to the next song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, technology is awesome. It's I don't like this part. <laughs> I'm going to get into the next line where they're playing Highway to Hell. <laughs> Dude, that'd be legit. So, Hopefully uh, they have a chop broad. suey lane. <laughs> That'd be awesome. You know, there's rednecks that tried to cover the Chop Suey system of a down song. You were saying. These people have no business. No business fucking singing system of a down. It's like a guy who looks like Lemmy from Motorhead. Change the picture. Why change the picture? You're losing people's interest. Thank no. you, Andrew. Jesus. <laughs> like change the, wait, I thought she was the fifth member of the podcast. <laughs> Not anymore. Aww. No, he's the fifth member of the podcast. Yeah, the, the, the body the double. The body sorry. double. Yeah, six. So, I don't With know. Tell stare. me tell me if this good if this is good. Because I know Rednecks can have good music. Look at Leonard Skinner. People have natural talent. And what are they singing? Uh, Chop Suey by System of a Down. Okay. The karaoke version, so we won't get pulled off at YouTube. The video as, was requested. It's as already some, got my attention. 8-Bit uh, yeah. Grizzly, thank you for bringing this to us. Yeah. I was going to say, as somebody who has karaoke this band, I'm really <laughs> rather interested to see how this goes down. <laughs> Mad karaoke. Dude, those background effects. I'm set already. I know. See, he looks like Lemmy from Motorhead, and she she just looked... That's you know, a she? The, the chick who's spinning awkwardly. <laughs> Watch. Let me, let me get that spin in there real quick. <laughs> okay. So she looks like uh, the, the chick in Breaking Bad who crushed her husband's head with an ATM yeah. a little bit, except off of the meth. Well, good for her. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, she just keeps... Oh! oh! That was a little... <laughs> she was like, whoa. Bump. Look she at that did, shit. She did not like that. <laughs> no, she backed into it. Look at this shit. Yeah. Bam, Backed bam. that shit up. I don't know. It's that look fun. she gives him, though. See, we've never done this on video before. Yeah. <laughs> That little, they gave up on rocking out after two beats. <laughs> These people have amazing timing. Wigger! Grab right for the little nigger! I start right away with sugar! Why do you keep on the table? Here you go, create another table! Grab right for the little nigger! I start right away with sugar! Why do you keep on the table? I don't. 
<laughs> you know someone when your guys' version is so much better. It's like they've oh never fucking heard the song. <laughs> it's like their it's like their nephew said, "Here, I'm going to pick a song for you guys." Oh god. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. He's getting interrupted. I, I may or may not be in love here. <laughs> what is what is her line? What is the, You wanted to. Oh. He, she and what she you is interrupting him. Would you put your kids up on the table? You wanted to. That. <laughs> Oh That's how they're God. supposed to do it, not just, what did you keep wanting to? <laughs> Before his line even finishes. Yeah. <laughs> he gave up already. <laughs> it sounds like Joan Rivers' voice before the accident. <laughs> <laughs> they feel like they're rocking out too. You want to? You want to? You want to? Dude, he looked a little happier at the beginning of the video. Let me. Yeah, he I got a bit of a smile to. when he started, especially you when he got to. bumped. But it's hard to tell behind. Yeah, he's all back. adjusting his mustache. Yeah, he's just <laughs> like, yeah, we sick, we sick, we got this. And then he and then she does her it. awkward spin. Yeah. Do you think he's and gonna then fuck she up? Makes eye contact and then bumps into his ass. There's the smile. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's like, yeah, you know me. He's like, you just saw that. You all just saw that. Oh man! And now he's just trying to keep the beat, but he's not even doing that very well. <laughs> this is so sad. Oh, my God, I wish I was drunker. <laughs> I probably would have better timing. I'd be instinctual. Why'd I let her pregame and not me? <laughs> See, the paradox is he actually has the vocal projection and she has the timing, but she sounds drunk and he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. This is just so wrong. I don't know if we should even finish this video. Dude, I want to oh, hear yes, this. We have to. We have to? Okay. Fuck! Hold on, John. You missed that part. And that part's probably one of the best oh, parts. Let me see. Hold on. There we go. Right here. The This is so terrible. But that's the best part about it. Yeah. That's why I love it. How did you find out about this? I, so, I don't know how. It showed up in my newsfeed on Facebook. <laughs> it, it's a little comforting to me to pretend that they didn't mean to put that background image in. Hello. Ah. Hey, mm -hmm. we're back. With a Here vengeance. We, are. we said we were going to have more energy, but we clearly don't already. Yeah. <laughs> no, we do. I we, we were so too much focused energy. on, on energetic. Watching, we were too focused on watching the video. Mm -hmm. I admit that. <laughs> yeah. You know what today is? What, what is today, uh, Alan? Today is the feast of St. Nicholas in the Netherlands and Belgium area. Bonobo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you got yelled at. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the slogan. Burn. Asshole. What? No, anyway. Anyways. So, yeah, we were kind of talking about it a few weeks ago, about the whole Feast of St. Nick, where, uh, you know, a few weeks ago, traditionally, they show, like, Santa Claus shows up on a ship from Spain, 
like into their ports with his uh, friend in blackface. It has to be a white guy in blackface called Schwarte Pete. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, what Schwarte Pete does is he hands out like candy and cookies to the kids who are good and um, hits the other ones, the bad ones, with switches. Much like Adrian Peters. Yeah. So he wears a Vikings jersey. and <laughs> Well, he wears face. like very colorful Renaissance clothes and wears blackface. Because he's like, some of it says he was like a slave at first to St. Nick and helped him out and stuff. But then other people were like revisionist about it and saying, no, he was a chimney sweep and it's <laughs> permanently soot covered. So that's like, why it has to be a Don't forget who picked guy. that cotton on your hat. <laughs> <laughs> He picked the cotton and made the clothes, and now has to wear them. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah. I don't know. That's twice all. the insult. Twice and, the insult. Anyway, so he's a chimney sweep, mm. and he's fellow. racist. And he's racist. Is it like a blatant racism, or is it like a kind of wink, wink, nudge? It's nudge the wink, racism. wink, nudge, nudge kind. They're, okay. People have been protesting it in the Netherlands. Um, and, uh, being so, like arrested. a wink, wink, nudge, nudge protest. <laughs> no. Like, you're racist, and it's all black people. Mm. And, you know. And hipsters, too, probably. Well, I don't think, I don't think the, the Netherlands We're really outraged because we're white. What? <laughs> we feel bad. <laughs> we really feel bad for these guys. We have guilt. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Anyway. So, I, we, we didn't have anyone dressed up in blackface like we kind of were planning. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. So. You guys should have let me know. I know we. I, yeah, I know. I didn't think we would actually end up running out of material so quickly, John. I'm sorry. Nice you said John. we were going to have a better prep sheet. Well, I. I was. Fucking, that could have been the entire prep sheet. I was. Would have told me. Busy at fucking work on Friday. For once. I've, on Thursday. Ah, fuck. This week has been a real clusterfuck at work. I've been getting called into the office for talking to broads on the phone. Ooh. I mean, not, no, broads that I have to work with and request shit from. They said I was rude, which was not uh-huh. true. Mm-hmm. I merely told this fucking broad that other people could do the same shit. You didn't have to call me 24 fucking 7. And on top of that, <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the face. I feel a genuine... Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, on top of that, they now they're gonna call me in and tell me I was late too many fucking times. I could see that. Were Jesus you, were Christ. You though? I don't know. I might have been late a couple times. You're late to pick me up today. <laughs> yeah, was, oh wow. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Let's yeah, talk John about on, that John, weirdness. John lives on New Mexico or Mexican time. Yeah. Well, whichever, yeah. whichever is okay. more correct. <laughs> okay. So Alan, the way the way Kurt got back on the show or reappeared on the show is because Alan talked to Kurt, even though I've known Kurt longer. Yeah. What the fuck is up with that? I'm a jealous high school girl now. No. And uh, I'm like, hey, of course he could be back on the show. Shit, why did he go through your ass? And you, you were like, oh no, I asked him. And I was like, okay, that's cool, that's cool. And then you said, well, is it cool if you pick him up Saturday? Is the text. You sent me, and I was like, "Yeah, no problem." More or less, and that he was, was the like, text. "He has no car. He'll never have a car again." He said he's sworn off of cars, uh, wow. owning one, and he, I remember he telling needs him your fucking help to get there this fucking Saturday, man. Well, wow. yeah, that's pretty much true. I told him I was gonna have to suck dick to get over here, <laughs> yeah. and John was like, "I'll be right there." <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes. I'm, over, I'm in the area. He showed up Friday. <laughs> 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 Want a podcast today? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I showed up. Uh, again, I didn't call Kurt. <laughs> and I didn't text him. Yeah, he needed no one opportunities are arising. And uh, I showed well, up to his house. I mainly, I mainly asked because I saw you had a lot of shows coming up here. And why not? Yeah. Sounds like you were already kind of uh, in the area for a few days anyway. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. And, um... And so uh, eventually uh, uh, I called Kurt because I knocked on his door and I rang his doorbell. And he probably scared the shit out of my dog in the last yes, one. Yes, your dog was running around. And I actually, I think I could hear it taking a shit on the floor. <laughs> um, but uh, I called you from inside my truck expecting you to like walk out or something like that. And you're like, hey, man. I was like, hey, how's it going? Let's re- reenact that conversation. Okay. So I'm like dialing Kurt and I'm like, uh, 
How's it going, Kurt? Oh, pretty good. Just uh, sitting here rubbing my balls a little bit. Uh, oh, cool. Me too. Um, are you are you still going to podcast with us? Uh, yeah, I just showed up at Alan's place. I think he's doing something to his dog, so I'm not going to knock on the door just yet. Oh, okay. Well, uh, sometimes <laughs> I, I wait for that too. Um, so you don't need a ride. I'm, I'm at your house. Oh. Uh, can you start my laundry for me? I forgot to forgot to do that. Okay. Sorry if the towels are a little crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do that. I'll see you at Allen's then. All right. All right. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye. Was this your guys' impression of comedy question mark? <laughs> 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 wow. Just pulled run out of the fucking gate there. I thought that was just going to be a throwaway. <laughs> that just seemed very reminiscent of... That was just how our come exact the, how come phone conversation. How come there's chicken nuggets in the bed? Oh, I was wrapping my arms with bacon. Oh, hey, come on. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I saw similarities. I calls them as I wants to you see calls them. calls them as you see them, right? Yeah. Okay, so I was in the process of... Uh, yeah, so a- anyway, that's why I got here at like 2.43. I think we, you had gotten here, but then you were walking back up from getting your shit outside, right? Um, yeah, just well... Just masturbating in your car. I, I knew that time. I had some time to kill, so I went and bought some chocolate milk. True milk. Chocolate milk. Yeah. Some of that true moo. I don't like to uh, like to shit on anybody's drinks, <laughs> unless especially they when they look like it. But drinks, uh, the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and I love chocolate milk actually. But uh, you know that like there are some pretty horrible facts about chocolate milk, right? That... I'd rather not hear those. Okay, cool. Well, well you're well, gonna, so uh, w- Alan. What are what are don't they take? I heard much... strawberry milk. Uh, has blood of the cow's tits in it, and that's why they just make it strawberry and add the pink color to it, anyways. Well, they, I don't know how true that is. That's probably some like urban start myth. Drinking strawberry milk. <laughs> get some. Fit, yeah. Get some out of protein <laughs> from the blood. Is there protein in blood? There's got to be. Mm. It's got iron. That's oh, good. Okay. Everyone needs a little iron. <laughs> A little iron for their clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so Peter Dinklage's clothes. <laughs> Peter <Come on>. Dinklage. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he was in. I saw him in uh, X Men: uh, Days of Future Past. Did yeah. anyone see that? Mm-hmm. No, I and saw him in Elf. You saw him in Elf. Yeah, he is an Elf. Really? Yeah, he's the angry one that like runs across the table and like. Kicks. Oh, he's the midget. Yeah, little people. the midget in Elf. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was pretty good in X Men too. I mean, X Men days. What was of his Rose. power? Could he like get taller at any point? No, he <laughs> no. couldn't. He was like a politician. Uh, yeah, he was he trying was. to fuck everything up for everybody. He, he designed the uh, the Sentinels. Yeah, Sentinels. That was that was. What's hunting, a Sentinel? What was hunting down all them X Men? I'm not big into X Men. What's a Sentinel? <laughs> it's a, a. Is it like those things in it's the a Matrix? Robot. Is it like those things in the Matrix that were following the ships in the tunnels? Mm. No, mm. they they have limbs and sh- they look yeah, like it's, it's like people. humanoid. It's like a humanoid robot that like goes after them and kills like them and can like time travel and shit. And they like <laughs> years kill them and then they can like they also have the same thing like they can like absorb and like use their powers too. So if like somebody has like they can control fire, then the Sentinel also can. Oh, control so it's fire. like Kirby. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's a the robot vacuum? Kirby. So it's like everybody's fucked. <laughs> fucked. What was Kirby? A Jigglypuff? No. I don't know. Jigglypuff and Kirby were different. Kirby was very annoying to play against, though. Yeah. Because you knock him off the edge Kirby and he just float back over like oh. a bitch. What are you guys talking about? Uh, Kirby, Super Kirby Smash Puckett Brothers. beating his wife. Kirby Puckett beating his wife? Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> Kirby Puckett. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Kirby Puckett Smash Brothers? Mm-hmm. It was definitely hard to play against. <laughs> <laughs> Super hard. He was a Jigglypuff. <laughs> he got big, huh? Yeah. Did he? Is he still alive? No, he died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Did his family wait six months to report it? <laughs> yeah, they kept him up upstairs in the Metrodome. <laughs> um, should we do a happy story or a sad Ooh. story? Happy or sad? Was the Scott Stapp one happy or sad? That was happy. That was hilarious. I was going to say. Holiday Inn's pretty nice. Yeah. Especially um, when you're just chilling with yeah. your homies at yeah, the Holiday Inn. Right? 
I'm trying to remember what those fucking lyrics were. I just can't do it. I know. And the thing is, though, if he says, like, he's super poor, like, he still has to pay for the fucking Holiday Inn every night. Yeah, right? That's, like, you pay by night there. Unless he really uh-huh. is pretending to be a maid and, like, sleeping in, like, the towel closet at night. Mm-hmm. Or if he's paying in blowjobs. Oh, well, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, you're like, sure, that's, like, really horrible if he hates him. But what if he loves blowjobs? And he's just like, oh, this is my habit. <laughs> you like, going to get a job time. at the Holiday Inn now, John? Uh, I don't know. Have you heard things? Have you heard things? <laughs> Have they got benefits? Yeah, they have benefits. Low job What's benefits. The benef- this is the pool open year round. That's Two hours of vacation nice. per month. <laughs> Good deal. Good deal. It could be a handy job, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, here's something along the lines of a handy job, man. Uh, Backstreet's back, everybody. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> a documentary is coming out to, about the yes. t- uh, about the timeless. Ooh, I don't know about that. Timeless about the boy band. Um, it's coming out on January thirtieth. They're not timeless though. Uh, the title: Backstreet Boys. Show them what you're made of. Oh, and it's a apostrophe capital E M. Show M. Show M. Show M. What you're made of. Um, uh, will be released theatrically. <laughs> Ooh, okay. you guys want to go see it? Uh, I'll, I, you know what? I would go see that. With, yeah, okay, we okay. Should totally Here's the plan. All go. Here's the go. plan. We all go. Bring a bottle of Jack. Yeah. Take Let's get the entire movie. every single comedian in town to go. Yeah. That would be pretty yeah. awesome. That would be fucking hilarious. There would be some people that would probably try and murder us on the way out, but it would be safety in oh, numbers. Yeah. Uh-huh. We'd probably lose like Chris Forte or um, yeah, on the he would way. Be we, you know what? We, we need needles. to we need to get rid of a few anyway. So mm, yeah. I think it'll be a good thing. Uh, it'll be released theatrically and on demand. Uh, and on demand. <laughs> so demanding. I thought you were just doing like a Native American impression. <laughs> and on demand. demand. <laughs> uh, the weekend of the of the Super Bowl. Uh, by <laughs> by some butt light. Bowl. Yes, by some butt light. light. Come down to the lunch. Uh, <laughs> the film directed by Stephen Kijak will feature... Uh, of the original, will feature of the original members, so it, it's not all of them. Uh, Nick Carter, mm. Brian yep. Littrell, oh yeah, How, Howie Doro, mm-hmm. AJ McLean, don't know that one, and he Kevin did Richardson. a lot of coke. Did he? Yeah, I watched the behind the music ones. Okay. He was like the one that was always drugged out. They were like, "Man, don't do this to yourself." Can you imagine being the editor of that documentary? Yeah, right. <laughs> Fuck, that would suck. A few months ago, uh, I started um, getting. Can you imagine having anything to do on, with that documentary? A few months ago, I started seeing ads on YouTube videos for Nick Carter and somebody else, like yeah. doing live performances and stuff. And they were in theaters that were maybe like 300 seats. It was pretty sad. Do you remember? They're still doing their whole choreographed dance thing. Nice. Uh, Do you remember his younger brother, Aaron Carter, that wrote off his very short and went, sad my coattails? My sister went to his concert when he came here. Uh, and the song, That's How I Beat Shaq. And it's all about how he's playing basketball Shaq with Shaquille O'Neal. And, well, yeah, that, one, he, that Dr. would be easy. <laughs> Dr. Phil could beat Shaq at rapping. He beat Shaq at free throw contest. Apparently. Dr. Phil. <laughs> Yo, you may have a really big shoe, but you have to realize it's not about you. <laughs> it is not about you, you egomaniac. <laughs> That uh, reminds me Dr. Of the, Phil could be a good rapper. He could. I bet he would. The Backstreet Boys thing, though, it reminds me. The, do you guys remember it was early on when like YouTube first like kind of started getting popular and stuff? It was a video called Which Backstreet Boy is Gay? And it was uh, <laughs> to <laughs> I Want It That Way. And so it like, and he said, ain't nothing but a butt ache. <laughs> and it goes I should have heard Howard Stern's version. Ooh, what was Howard I Stern? Oh, God, I can't even remember. I'll have to look I it created up, it first. Ooh. Oh, my God. It's so funny. <laughs> Um, I heard the I want a fat babe. That was one. Yeah. Did you look up the Howard Stern one later on? Yeah. That's awesome. But it one's pretty funny, too. <laughs> yeah. The group ejaculated to stardom in 1996. <laughs> of course they did. <laughs> and became, <laughs> became <laughs> one of the top selling boy bands in history. I liked him. Selling so more than 130 million records. Okay, wait. Can we go around, though? I don't know. Maybe you guys. I liked In Sync better. Between the two, Dirty Pop. <laughs> Which one's In Sync? Who did that have? Like Joey Justin Fatone. Timberlake. Okay, yeah. Joey Fatone and the Joey one with the octopus one. hair. Joey Fat one. Yeah, Joey Fat one. That's what he ate. <laughs> <laughs> fat one. So we got the gig. Do do. Um, I like them better. Actually, isn't that guy the guy who like produced them? 
was he ever were there ever any allegations made against that guy because i i thought i heard things i don't know i could just things. Be, but I, I thought i heard things um Let's see here. Uh, NSYNC, uh, 98 Degrees, which is kind of like the retarded brother of the boy bands, right? <laughs> 98 Degrees, yes. Oh, well, yeah, completely. Um, no one thought it was going to be as big as it was. Then it just stopped. And what do you do when you're a full-grown man in a boy band? Uh, Latrell Kill said. Kill yourself? Yeah. Um, they've gone on to other projects with Carter most recently teaming up with the new kids on the block member Jordan Knight cuz there's a huge fucking demand for that one uh to form the duo Nick and Knight. Oh, see. Oh my like, see God, how that works out. Golden. Nick and Knight. Uh, cuz the only people that like that shit are old bombs. <laughs> they they released their debut album in September. Oh, I bet you that's selling well. I bet you that's doing really good. Probably. Yeah, we should definitely go see that movie. Yeah, let's do. It. Let's all. We have to really convince people to do that. Every comedian listening, we're gonna go see the new Backstreet movie. Yeah, if you guys are down, let's work it out. We'll uh, we'll figure something out. So Mary and Ramona have been bringing up the fact that uh, Fred Durst and Scott Stapp uh, they were supposed had, to fight. Yeah, I didn't know that. When's Scott that Stapp. Like? Scott Stapp wanted to fight him, and Fred Durst turned it down. Really? <laughs> yeah. Scott Stapp is like five foot five. They say. I say he's well, like Fred tiny. Durst isn't that big. Either. He's not very stapped. No, he's not very stapped. <laughs> Although he would probably wear a stap on if you asked him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, take one. Um, so okay. wait, what was it? What was that about though? Because it says that Fred Durst was calling Scott Stapp an egomaniac. Yeah, he was talking shit to him or something. Talking shit about him and back when he was Scott famous? Stapp like wanted to box him or something like that, and Fred Durst wouldn't do it. Huh, I wonder why. Doesn't he like to break stuff? Not Scott Stapp's beautiful face. No. Oh. Yeah, he tries to break bridges with people, like Scott Stapp. Maybe he has a problem with hitting a soccer mom. Oh, yeah, that's right. And I can't hit you. Can't Need we be reminded? Well, uh, he wrote some pretty... <laughs> <laughs> just can't hit that beautiful face. Yeah. You can't. It's all you have. I can't fight a woman. It's all you have now. Um, Happy <laughs> story or sad story? Sad. Sad story. All right. Sad story. <laughs> I wanted to read we that need one another about fucking Rudolph. Sto- oh, is that a sad one? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> happy one. I there's a Rudolph one. Hermie. Or there's, huh? I want to okay. be a dentist. <laughs> okay, let's Quick, do that one. Douse the light. <laughs> um, the longest running. I think this is a happy story. Uh, the longest running holiday special still has a very shitty nose. Uh, oh. Shiny. Shiny nose. <laughs> um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer premiered on television December 6th, 1964, and is now one of the holiday season's perennial favorites. Uh, of course, it's the story of the reindeer who saves Christmas. Um, Rankin Bass Animated uh, Film Production Company uh, used Japanese puppets and stop motion to tell the tale. They used a soundtrack. You mean tear? Tayer, <laughs> featuring <laughs> Burl Ives, uh, did the Burl theme song. Ives. Burl Ives. Um, in the story, Santa's. We all know the fucking story. Come on. Of course, we know the story. <laughs> After Santa's ending kind up of a dick in on it. the a black dude shows up and kidnaps kids and hits them with sticks <laughs> when they're bad. Wait, what? Wait, that's the wrong Christmas one. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that was. What was that <laughs> called Christmas anyway? The I think it's just a feast of Saint Nicholas. Feast of Saint Nicholas. Yeah. What was the guy's? The Schwarte Pete. Schwarte Pete. Yeah. And who's his kidnaps? Boss? He kidnaps the kids. In, it's a, like, in a sack and then beats them with sticks that's for kinda, being bad. But that's kind of like Krampus, but Krampus like eats them, though. Yeah, Krampus is uh, sometimes chained to Santa. He's like the devil figure. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. He oh. takes him to his lair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is it a... <laughs> it's a Cosby Hotel. <laughs> it's, a Cosby Hotel. <laughs> it's not Jerry Sandusky's basement? No. no? Okay, good. Um... Uh, after ending up on the island of the misfit toys, I think that's a lot of people's favorite parts, right? The misfit uh, sex toys. Oh uh, yeah, I used to know a little girl that looked like the creepy doll whenever she'd smile. Really? Yeah. I get a it's lot of people scary. tell me I look like Yukon Cornelius. <gasps> nice. Yukon <laughs> Cornelius. Is that why you changed your picture to that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Silver and gold. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, the abominable, abominable snow monster. <laughs> the abominable. 
uh, is featured <laughs> in Star Wars. And they guide Santa through a blizzard that threatens to ruin Christmas. Mm. A blizzard would ruin Christmas? Mm-hmm. Uh, Cause, yeah. Oh, wait, because they didn't have Rudolph. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Santa's yeah. like a racist I dick at the beginning. And it's like, oh, shit, your son is ugly. And then later on, he's like, shit, I need your help. Will you help me, Rudolph? That doesn't sound racist. No, but he's like all against him because of he his red nose. Very, he looks very looks picky sist. towards, uh, you know. It's kind of just dick. Like he wants a lot of Germans in his team. Mm-hmm. Rudolph. <laughs> Prancer. Prancer. <laughs> That's Vixen. German. Yeah. <laughs> Comet. Adolf. Comet. Fucking Germany was the first country to get hit by a comet. <laughs> I think that is completely false. <laughs> maybe they maybe they made the cleaning agent comet. Yeah. Comet, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'm grabbing at straws. They originally here. used it to clean showers, I hear. There you uh, go. <laughs> In 2006, the New York Times reported that fans drove for miles to see Rudolph and Santa Claus puppets at the Center for Puppetry Arts in Atlanta. The pair were thought to be the last of the surviving production puppets. They had been taken home by a production company employee and jacked off onto constantly. Yeah, yeah the other ones were just like so caught up by all their fame that by they their just cats, overdosed yes. and yeah. uh, and given uh, actually Sex edition. they were given to her children <laughs> after have. filming was completed. In 2005 the nephew of the original rescuer found the puppets in a family attic uh, and brought them to be appraised on the PBS series and Road you say a show. family attic? Yes, a family attic. <laughs> Was that yeah. Anne, Anne Frank's place? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's behind the bookshelf. <laughs> Why does this have <laughs> hair on it? Uh, uh, long black hair. Uh, <laughs> created for about five thousand dollar each. Five thousand dollar. Five thousand dollars each. In 1964, they are valued at eight thousand to ten thousand dollars for the pair. Wow, that ain't shit. I know you, now. And like, if I feel you like took they them, should be worth more than yeah, that. Yeah, and if you took them to fucking a uh, pawn shop. They would be like, hmm, twenty five uh, bucks. Yeah, twenty five bucks. Twenty five bucks <laughs> on eighteen hundred for one of them. <laughs> Two hundred bucks. <laughs> it's just so disproportional <laughs> to what you're asking for. <laughs> um, let's see here. The special has shown been shown every year since it premiered. Wow, is that fucking forty years? Uh, Sixteen was it? It's just 50. like what they've been doing with the Christmas story. They just make it play twenty four hours. I uh, fucking love a Christmas story. Which gives it a leg up over other beloved shows like a Charlie Brown Christmas. Charlie Brown Christmas. Let's talk oh, about how shitty okay. Charlie Brown Christmas is. And the sequel is. of Charlie Brown Christmas. Can we Brown just talk I about Christmas. how shitty Charlie Brown is? Charlie Brown is shitty. Because he's such a little sad sack. Well, he, but it's he's not like, his fault. Everybody oh, begs on poor God, Charlie. Why are you going to take away the fucking football Pick before up your, he kicks it? Oh, my God. Huh? She, Kurt, okay. That's Lucy's problem. She tricks him once. Shame on her. <laughs> tricks him once or twice. Shame on him. Like, seriously. Yeah, he does okay. it every single fucking thing. Like he's a fucking idiot. After a while, stop so. kicking the goddamn football, Charlie it looks Brown. Like Tony Romo out there. You know, and get a less lazy <laughs> dog. Tony Romo. <laughs> get a what? Less lazy dog. Well, you know, if Charlie sleeps on top of the doghouse, what the fuck is that? What a dumbass. It's like go inside the doghouse, you dipshit. Well, yeah. so how does Charlie Brown have fucking control over that? Because he it's his him. dog. He, he should train he him to do that. Burn his ass with a cigarette but until he, he complies. <laughs> <laughs> Snoopy burn his ass with a cigarette right back. <laughs> Snoopy is obviously the dominant one in the relationship. Yeah, definitely. I, Charlie Brown, um, Charlie I grew Brown up is with definitely him. a bottom. I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up with Charlie Brown and the Christmas special, and if you watch it now, it's fucking horrible. It's oh, god yeah. awful. Peppermint Patty is oh, such a dyke too. Right? <laughs> well, that's kind of hot. <laughs> Peppermint what, Patty. What's the problem, John? Now you watch it, and all you hear is wah, 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 that is wah, 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 too oh, old. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, um, and the jokes, the jokes in there are like they're not jokes. No, they're not. They're, <laughs> they're witty observations. Not they're, even they're, they're like slightly witty observations. Not even. They're just observations. They're just observations. <laughs> they're Sam Winters comedy. Oh, oh <laughs> Sam Winters. Sam Winters, oh, oh, buddy. Oh my God. Yeah, what are you gonna do, Sam? Huh? Mm. What are you gonna not do? comedy. Wait. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Wait. Thinking of Whoa. Charlie Brown Christmas the other night. Uh, Santa Claus is coming to town was on, and I watched like the beginning half of it because I used to fucking love that one the one uh, with like the warlock the winter warlock up in the mountains and the Meister Burger Burger Meister and like the the Yeti thing right no that's Rudolph it's like Rudolph isn't a Yeti 
No, that's the Bumble. But this is like oh. a different story. It's the one like with the really sad town and Chris Kringle. It's like his beginnings and how he brings them toys and shit like that. Oh, and then how he's all tired and sick or whatever it was. What? I know. I'm trying. To, there's so many <laughs> just different. Let her, just let her one, tell you. It's the one okay. with the penguin too, where he has to like go over the <laughs> mountain with the cave, the whispering winds. That one. It sounds familiar. Okay. Well, anyways, it was on the other night, so I was like, shit, I'm going to watch it, because I used to fucking love that. And, like, the first 20 minutes, like, if you took a shot for every single line that sounded like a complete, like, intentional sexual innuendo, you would be dead <laughs> in the first, like, 20 minutes. 13 shots is alcohol poisoning. But yeah, there was a ton. It was, like, it was fucking hysterical, though. Like, I kind of want to watch it and just play video, like, just play drinking it with it, because it was so bad. Sounds like that would be fun. Yeah, it was wonderful. What was the name of it? Um, Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. They have a part that like, the Bruce you must brave the Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> oh, yeah. Santa in a little house shack out the back by the bay. Santa. <laughs> Sorry. He's an American. <laughs> Who was born in a small town, but he had to get out. <laughs> the pool was too hot, so we had to go south <laughs> to give the kids what they want. Overdone. I know. <laughs> well, no, seriously, like, at the beginning of the movie at one point, it's like, when he was a baby, and he got drifted over the cave of the whispering winds, and he went to live with, like, these elves that just make toys for no fucking reason. They just stack them up in the front yard. <laughs> and it's like, he it's ate hobby. with them. And he lived with them, and he slept with them, and it like pans across all of them. I'm like, shit, that sounds like a lot of work. Sounds like the Michael Jackson story. <laughs> <laughs> he gave them their night night juice. <laughs> night night juice. Into their Jesus veins. Juice. <laughs> Jesus juice. Um, yeah, so Charlie Brown Christmas special. Not a. I what mean, about? I still watch it, but I hate it. No, Fro- exactly. What a, they bring up Frosty the Snowman. Did oh, you guys I, ever used to watch Frosty the Snowman? I was never snowman. a Frosty the Snowman person. Fro- a little known fact about Frosty the Snowman: huge fan of snowballs. Oh, <laughs> yeah, snowballs. <laughs> Troy said Scott Stapp looks kind of like a, th- a skinny AJ Martinez. Do you see it at all? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> a little bit. Oh, man. oh my god! Fuck yeah, even uh, even in this picture. <sighs> yeah, that's amazing. I see it. I can see it. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about I am Santa Claus? I am. Which one is that? We were watching it yesterday. I am the Mick Foley thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. Mick Foley. So Mick Foley uh, did this. Um, this uh, documentary about uh, Santa Santa Clauses, uh, and uh, basically, it's guys who either perf- appear ma- make appearances uh, in malls or um, or wherever they do it uh, as Santa Claus. And some of them are the real bearded Santa Clauses, and some of them are the fake bearded Santa Claus. Very few. They're, they they showed a whole like coalition of real bearded Santas. That's what it was called. It was like the Coalition of Real Bearded Santas. And the president of the Coalition of Real Bearded Santas is, is, anybody, anybody? Scott Stapp. Oh, no. Close. Uh, he is a gay bear. No, he's a, a swinger. Gay ma- oh, is it, he's not a bear. Oh, that was the that other was guy. That okay. <laughs> was the other guy. That was the other He's Santa. a swinger. He's a swinger Santa. And, um... Oh. Uh, and, uh, actually, uh... Wait, wait, there wait. was some controversy as to whether or not the swinger... Santa should be the president of the Real Bearded Even Santa's Association. Does he wear the suit R-B-S-A-A. to parties? No, but right. he has the white hair and beard. Okay, He just doesn't and play Santa. He said he's never had sex in the Santa suit. Okay. Right? Was that, was, that was he, the gay one. The as long fuck? as he like... Rin- oh, wait, so the swinger didn't say that, so the swinger might wear the costume to parties. Maybe. He might. Like, as long as he but rinses out his beard well, like... They showed this <laughs> club that they go to in Seattle, and, like, there's a whole buffet for the, like, orgy. And there's a sign next to the buffet that says no nudity in, near the buffet. Mm. <laughs> He's all exactly. They've got like, like a sneeze. We don't want to see below. you naked by the food. We don't want any hairs dropping in or they don't want and I, I told Ellen, I was like, well also they probably don't want like it to be this Caligula thing where there's like people like fucking and eating and they have like a fucking turkey leg in one hand and they're fucking doggy styling it, you know? It's fucking going on. Awesome. Eating some mashed potatoes and doggy style. <laughs> Played on her back. Eating some yeah. mashed potatoes and putting the gravy all over her back. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, uh, so, yeah, so we watched that one, and uh, there was there was a gay Santa, and that gay Santa and he was, was actually a, a what is it Bear of the Year. 
Bear of the Year. He went to a bear convention. Oh, nice. And that was. Did he bring cool. his cubs? Uh, no, there. He had a, a lover. Um. He had a partner. Then that partner guy was. Uh, he looked like he um, lived in a different state. He's like, I'm gonna hibernate inside your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. The way I was looking at it was like the Santa guy is so fat and his lover is so skinny that combined they make two average people. <laughs> it was a perfect pairing. Perfect pairing. Um. Frosty the Snowman. Oh, no, no, we already did that shit. Uh, so, yeah, so uh, the uh, rest of the documentary was kind of just like uh, exploring the, the Santa lives. And, dude, after <laughs> after um, uh, Christmas was over, oh, dude, it was such a fucking... Oh, it was dude, all they, depressing. Yeah, man. They, you could see them. They're just like at an IHOP alone having a nice hot chocolate and pancakes, just all sad. That sounds like, like the life of a comedian, too. <laughs> After the gig, you're well. just like, ooh. Uh, and so there was um, just this huge letdown for them. A lot of them, that's like their huge, that's where most of their revenue comes from during mm-hmm. that part of the year. Uh, there was actually some fucking. A lot of them live on Social Security the whole year. Yeah. And then, like, do that for the two months. And then Mick Foley cash. started doing it. And now yeah. since then, he's he just been all centered out. fucking business away from them. Uh, he, he um, actually, uh, Nick, Mick Foley, did he direct this or did he just throw cash at it? Uh, it said Mar- Morgan Spurlock presented it. Okay. So I guess it's a Mor- Morgan Spurlock movie, but Mick Foley pretty much took control of yeah. the Yeah. Well, he was in a lot of the scenes, right? Yeah. Like in, it was, a lot of it was like his interacting whole. Interacting with him. Yeah, it was like his project. He has this, uh, like. Mick Foley has this Christmas obsession. Uh, what is it? Is Well, I think it was, he was saying that like since he's gone, he used to be gone for wrestling like 300 days a year. So like whenever he would be home, like the whole thing for them was go to Santa's village. So they would always talk about it and that would be the thing they would look forward to. And then he had a whole room in his house devoted to Christmas for whenever he's there and I, th- I think he's losing it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Great facts. <laughs> the great facts. <laughs> this is a facts I will never read again. No, not gonna, like re- in, uh, not gonna read this facts like, right here. It's like in that Anchorman thing we were watching the other day where they had the replacements in. And they're like, uh, we're not uh, sure what's uh, going on. We're here covering for the other guys and. Where's the phone number for anybody seen Ron Burgundy? What was that? Was uh, Anchorman 1.5? Kind of. Yeah, so it's, it's called of, Wake Up Ron Burgundy. So it's like an alternate plot line that they kind of. But they use some of the for. same. They use some of the footage from the first one. But they and had some it. of the running jokes, like prank calling Veronica and stuff, and yeah, that was actually pretty cool. I don't think I'd ever seen that before, man. Yeah. Um, uh, let's let's keep going with the entertainment. We got a few more minutes left. We can do uh, some more stories here. Um, this one's actually, I think, uh, a lot of people, um, a lot of people talk about law enforcement these days and about the need to excuse people and how and, they're apparently not allowed to do their job. Uh, and, and this is this issue falls close to that. This this yeah. gentleman has been persecuted. It's time to forgive. It's time to uh, oh, no, to yeah. let time move what on. Is this? Let's, it's time to, you know, mm. there's been enough enough pain and suffering over this. Uh, what they what the legal system did to this man. Ooh. And I think it's it's uh, Charles Manson. Close. <laughs> I was thinking that. On April eighth, nineteen eighty eight, when he was sixteen, Scott's and dad. long before he became <laughs> a model, yeah. rapper, and actor. Marky Mark. Mark. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Look at you in the boy band. High on <laughs> drugs and alcohol, assaulted a man while trying to steal two cases of alcohol, and then punched another man in the face. Uh, well, he was the fighter, uh, as he attempted to avoid the police. Uh, he was arrested, sentenced, and tried as an adult, and served 45 days in prison. Wow, he went to prison for that. I'm just throw you in the clink. Uh, today at I 43- bet he met the funky bunch in there. <laughs> <laughs> Today at 43, Wahlberg is a much different person. A father of four. He's a movie star. And he's, a douchebag. He's a philanthropist. And he works with at-risk youth. Uh, he's still legally affected by his convictions, he says. Uh, he submitted a petition Monday, and he's asking for a pardon. Um, what uh, movie is he asking for a pardon? 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking for Dolly pardon. No. <laughs> uh, he says, uh, I am deeply sorry for the actions that I took on the uh, night of April 8th, 1988, as well as any lasting damage I may have caused the victims, he writes in the petition. Since that time, I have dedicated myself to becoming a better person and citizen so that I can be a role model to my children and others. Wahlberg says his record can potentially be the, the uh, basis to deny me a concessionaire's license in California and elsewhere. Uh, something important to him because of his interest in Wahlburgers. Have you guys ever heard of Wahlburgers? Yeah, I tried oh, yeah. to watch it. That's like fur burgers, right? <laughs> <laughs> Close. Uh, you, did you try and watch uh, Wahlburgers? Yeah. What about fur burgers? <laughs> No? Missed that one, unfortunately. Okay. So tell us about Wahlburgers. Uh, it was okay. Donnie Wahlberg, like, it's mostly just Donnie Wahlberg. Donnie like, Marky Mark isn't in it. Donnie really. Wahlberg has a five head, right? Yeah, it's like Donnie Wahlberg and Donnie Wahlberg's older brother who nobody knows about. Is there figuring about the... What's his name? I don't know. Is, <laughs> nobody I knows watched, about like, him. two episodes and I don't fucking know. Donnie Wahlberg, <laughs> is he married to... Uh, Jenny that? McCarthy. Yes. Yes. She's in it a little bit. It's funny that someone so against vaccinations would take so many stickings over the years. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it was not good. No, it's basically about them running their burgers, right? Yeah, it was pretty the much just joint. like them running the business, and it was just like Donnie and the other brother, and it wasn't that great. That'd be great if Guy Fieri showed up and was a douche. And was like, hey, boo, cheeseburgers. Let's try them out. They look great. That's a horrible. These things are really good. Mm. That's are a you really not? bad impression. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we should move on to the next story. That was bad. <laughs> that was terrible. That was a horrible Ooh, impression. That was rough. Did, well, does anybody do a good Guy Fieri part oh, impression? Yeah. Guy Fieri Who? doesn't Tell me. even do Who? a good Probably Ralphie May. What? Have, have you heard it? Or no, are you just bullshitting just me now? I'm saying he probably could. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm so I'm basically asking you, what other comedians would do something better? And you're like, well, a lot, a lot of the ones more talented than you, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Pretty much everyone in town. <laughs> <laughs> See, you made Bonobo sad with that. Sorry, <laughs> Bonobo. Made her cry. Um, Bonobo's so, doing a Guy Fieri. <laughs> she is <laughs> better than you. <laughs> So what do you think? Should they pardon um, uh, Wahlberg? No. Fuck that shit. No? He fucked up. And that's it, huh? Yep. Just fuck it? Mm-hmm. What about you, Brain? Well, Would like, you pardon him? Does anybody else get pardoned for that shit? Maybe. If no, they got If they got to run a wall, but he's got a Wahlbergers to run. Don't give a shit. Really? Yeah. Yeah. At the you same time, that is kind of confusing. Like, why does that fucking, why does it matter that he punched two people and tried to steal some alcohol if he's going to run a restaurant? Like, what's the what's the fucking connection? Yeah. How about they I let, guess I don't get it. How about it, he lets somebody punch him in the face and take some alcohol? They said that he, Bygones. it could be uh -huh. the basis of him being denied a concessionaaire's uh, license. I know, but like, why so does that matter? Because yeah, then he like went down with the franchise, his Wahlburgers out there. No, I know. I mean, like, why? That's one less delicious burger for people in fucking California. How do you know it's delicious? Because I was sent a care package by Wahlburgers wall earlier today. <laughs> That's why I'm pushing for this petition. Wahlburgers, <laughs> we need Wahlburgers to have a clear path in California. Uh, the uh, Alaskan uh, a pipeline, uh, a lot of people are uh, concerned with that. Uh, it's a <laughs> I, have a, I have a feeling Walmart's going to want to buy out Wahlburgers eventually. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, no, I wasn't sent a care package by Wahlburgers. But if they'd <laughs> like to send one, send us some coupons or some shit, and uh, we'll we'll touch your Send shit. us a store. Got it? Yeah, we got to. Uh, we'll run pretty, it into the ground. Pretty wide reach there <laughs> through irresponsible management tactics. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, we're coming up on the end of the show. Ten minutes. Three. No. F well, here's the thing: we can't be fucking. We put it off till three minutes to the end of the show. We have to be aware of this shit. What clock management. What happens? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the guests got something what they want to bring up or something that they wanted to talk about. Yeah. Anything? Are you at all looking at me? Kurt? Oh, yeah, nothing. You haven't been here. We're going to stay quiet for a minute. Okay, okay. Well, wait, 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 give me a sec. I have to think. We have a show tonight. Oh, yeah. Are you, you're going to be there? Mm -hmm. We have headliners at Cool Water Fusion. Yeah. Restaurant. Yeah. So you had to get booked for stuff, but you haven't been to like any of the open mics whatsoever lately. Where you been? Rats? Dealing with rats. Yes. You can't be like show up for like four minutes. Yell these rats. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? 
Uh, no, I just kind of like fell out of it then. There's so many rats and so many things to do, and then I would go over and like help with those, and then get drunk, and it was a nice way to spend my nights. Who's at the uh, cool water with you? Um, Kurt Fletcher. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, that's hey. kind of how the fuck did that work? That just was coincidental that you guys both wound up on the same show here. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. Also, Kevin Kennedy. No, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. I, he's one of my yeah. favorites. Oh, yeah, nice to see favorites. that. Uh, <laughs> one of your favorite something, but <laughs> I hear he's a real hunk. <laughs> uh, he likes to think so. Uh, who else? Do you know who else? I think David Roseman and uh, David Margaret Rosemond. Oh, Margaret Rogers, friend of the yeah. show. She was on that episode where Alan was picking on me, and to the point where it made everybody else uncomfortable. Really? I think so. Yeah, I don't remember because afterwards AJ like texted me. He's I think AJ was on that one too. Yeah, and he was and like, so was Emilio. Yeah, and he's like, dude. Dude, what the fuck? Alan doesn't <laughs> like you or something? I was like, no, nah, we're just fucking around. Because that was like when we were just starting to insult each other on the podcast. So. I'm going to have to listen back to that one. Yeah. That should be and fun. You, you scared Margaret, too, I think. Oh. She's afraid of you. Really? Uh, okay, wait. Why? So, What did I do? That you were, I don't know. You freaking have to everybody to the podcast. out. Oh, well. Freaking everybody out. So, yeah, it's uh, Kurt, David Roseman, me, Jason Green, Margaret. Ah, oh, Jason Green. Jason Green. Friend of the podcast there, too, buddy. Aaron Hamrit? Who? Who's Aaron? Aaron Hammer? Is that a guy or a girl? It's a musician, I don't, I don't I think. fucking know. How's it spelled? A A R O. Ah, fuck him. H A M R E. I think he's a musician. Okay. Oh, okay then. Not fuck him. So wait, with the Cool Water Fusion shows, do they like play you up with music? Or, like, what's da, the deal? Why do they da, have? Da, a, da, 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 da. What a headliners? The yeah. Love Boat. Theme song? No, they don't. Love Boat. <laughs> Something That's for all everyone. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so check that out. I think yeah. that's like five bucks. Five yeah. bucks to see uh, four really good comics yeah. and uh, the guy hosting the show. I will uh, see none of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, all those guys are friends. They're buddies. Yeah. No, yeah, we are. And uh, I might talk shit about Kevin Kennedy, but he he does put uh, some spots out there for some people he that does. are really he talented. Sets up a lot so of shows. you should go check it out. I mean, don't hate on him just because I talk trash about. Him. I know the guy for a long time, so I have right to talk trash about him. But uh, you should definitely yeah uh, take check that it. yeah take crack that. and Barry. Crank. You don't know anybody. Who is? What if it's Kevin? What that if it's guy? Kevin Kennedy? <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, sure. Like one of his outlets for getting back at people. What? Kevin Kennedy with the crack and Barry. Whoever it is doesn't use your properly. <laughs> he doesn't. Good point. I, did did anyone? Was anyone here? I, I blocked him right away, so I haven't seen other than what you showed <laughs> me, the Mikey Mays picture. Oh yeah, where it was like a picture of his jacket, and it said, "Wearing this jacket doesn't make you funny." <laughs> it's kind Is this of like funny. on Facebook? Yeah, there's this like thing going on. Uh, it's kind of funny. It's humorous. Not, that's just a little bit of humor. A little bit of humor. A little bit of teasing. Nothing wrong with teasing. You yeah. know, here and there. <laughs> I know Kurt was accused of being cracking. I was, and then when I saw that they didn't use your properly, I, was like, I got kind of mad that I was accused. <laughs> You're like, no, I make sure my punctuation is at, like, on What if point. you were just being extra stealthy, though, and decided to purposefully well, I wouldn't not spell your correctly? on this podcast when people are listening. Yeah. <laughs> I tried like I tried like putting it out there like why are you guys even wasting your time <laughs> you with putting, this? Well, that always <laughs> makes me think of Bill Cosby <laughs> raping girls. <laughs> <laughs> that made Alan <that> giggle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was pretty good. I like that one. But uh, I was kind of like in my comments and like going off off of the point. Like, hopefully, if I may say this, they might think it's me. What if it's Banksy? <laughs> Banksy. <laughs> I thought that was a good one. Who said that? You? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe Surprise. it's Banksy because it's another anonymous person mm-hmm. posing as an anonymous person. That's pretty cool. But I don't know why someone decided to take the thing that happened in Florida. Like, because that's, I guess, where it originated. Hmm. I have it in Florida and Kansas City. Really? Uh huh. Why? I don't know. It's funny, though. Well, it's funny, <laughs> but it's so confusing. Mm-hmm. Like, they're clearly smart for being able to get people's attention like this. Mm-hmm. I like an anonymous. I like the interaction that he had with Sarah Kennedy. It was on one of the threads, and uh, she, like, uh, what did you, she know. she commented on something she she commented on something and he came back uh what do you call a uh, what do you call a woman, woman comedian? comedian oh no <laughs> and then he commented or and then it was like unfunny uh <laughs> and then so she like uh, posted something of uh someone blowing kisses 
<laughs> to, to that person. It was kind of funny. It was kind of cool. Uh, she didn't really, you know, go back and forth. As some comics have. Some comics, oh, this gave some comics a raging purple oh, yeah. fucking hard on. Names. Uh, Nick Munoz. I know oh. he's getting off on this. Yeah. I've he released is. the Krakenberry. Yeah. Oh, Nick. Nick. No, you haven't. Released the Krakenberry. That is, ugh. He... He, did, he didn't release episodes of his own show in a timely manner. How can he release a Krakenberry? <laughs> you do more work on Krakenberry than you do on your fucking show, Nick. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. That was a killer opening, by the way. Yeah. Killer opening. Still no excuse to wait three and a half, four weeks. To get all that To get a response. Done. We had a web show war. Yeah, you missed that. It was very one-sided because they took so long to release the episode. <laughs> three weeks. That was, yeah. It was funny, though. It was funny. It was funny. Um, yeah, so we have a couple minutes left. A couple minutes left, folks. This Way to the acknowledge it. Countdown. <laughs> <laughs> the countdown. Thanks to everybody who uh, hung out. Uh, man, you guys, we actually had uh, uh, some live listens here Ooh. during the episode. It was pretty cool. Uh, boy, I tell you what. Um, Kurt, how many minutes are you doing tonight? Are you no at idea. the end of the show? I have no idea. 20 to life. Money to life. If they're not laughing, I'll just leave. My <laughs> just five bucks. What I do? I'm like, if they're not laughing, I'd say one that I know is good, and then I run away. I just do the shittiest jokes possible. If they're not laughing, <laughs> it's like, all right, you don't deserve. Might as well go down in flames. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a bunch of Nazi jokes now. <laughs> hey, right up my alley. <laughs> like Alan set. <laughs> we should get together and write a. We could do a Nazi album. A Nazi album. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> do you have uh, anything coming up this week, Kurt? Any shows coming up? Uh, I got that Little Spirits with 50 other comics. Oh, hey, that's uh, oh, yeah. let's, let's chat about that a little bit. Uh, Thursday. Uh, oh, okay, go through the week. The Monday, there's Back Alley. Two, there's Nexus Brewery. Every Tuesday, folks, Woo. you should go there. Uh, Wednesday, there's a Broken Bottle, but we're doing a podcast, so you'll probably listen to that. And then Thursday, <laughs> we have Low Spirits Show. It's uh, an art comedy. Uh, an art comedy. And, an art comedy. <laughs> uh, I think most of the scene's going to be there. Uh, yeah. Even though I talk... Yeah, because they're all performing. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, <laughs> Even though I talked endless shit about Kevin Kennedy, he tagged me in it, and uh, I'll probably head down there and uh, check everybody out. Uh, props to Kevin for putting it all together, so there's that. Uh, but that should actually be a fairly good time. Um, a lot of times those shows at Low Spirits can be a little bit more about kind of hobnobbing the rest of the stand-ups uh, instead of doing your set to fucking empty chairs at 2 a.m. Uh, but if you get in the first group, that's usually pretty good. And the second group, you know, that's usually some people that are like... Usually the first group has already left. Yeah. But it's, a, you know what, it's a it's usually a good time. So you should check that out. That's, uh, what time is that? Do you guys know? It usually starts at 9. 9. So, uh, 10. Uh, Kevin Kennedy is an honorary brown person, and he starts his show so fucking late. Uh, but that's just that's kind of the way comedy goes in general, right? How mm-hmm. are they? How are the clubs, uh, Kurt? Do they usually are they pretty firm, or do they? Oh yeah, they always stick to the time. Really? Mm-hmm. They don't wait for the crowd to fill just out. Just like us. Well, most of the clubs, are, they're not in Albuquerque, so <laughs> people <laughs> get there on time. Work. Any oh clubs? <laughs> any clubs are not in Albuquerque. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, uh, let's, so uh, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. Thanks to everybody for listening. Mm-hmm. Kurt, it was good to have you back, man. Thanks, guys. Are you uh, possibly next Saturday, maybe? Uh, maybe. We'll okay. see. Yeah, let us know. It was great to have you back. Yeah. Uh, Bryn? I are should you, be available. You should be home. Good. I hope so. Well, I hope, well, if you're busy with a gig, though, that's... I, I, I don't I'm think I am. I don't too. think I have a gig Saturday. Okay. Uh, Bryn? You're coming back out to the open mics. People are yep. going to see you out and about. Yes, I am. Uh, they can see you tonight. None of this reclusive mm-hmm. rat shit. <laughs> Done with the reclusive rat shit. Yeah. Uh, I'll just bring them. I'll bring them to the comedy shows and just like release the horde upon people that don't laugh. <laughs> will you release the Krakenberry? Yes, I will. Uh, <laughs> what if it was me the whole time? Uh, we'll be here uh, and we'll be at Nexus Tuesday Uh, Alan will be there too and shit Uh, it'll be a grand grand old time folks Uh, thanks for listening everybody (laughs) Uh, this has been Potential Problems Podcast episode 81 81? 81 Wow. we're right up there with Pat who's Pat? I'll tell you later say Jack 
Yes. Oh, wow. Good. That is... Uh, we should have more listeners then. We should. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thanks, Alan. Great job.